The grid is my my brush. The sorters are my my paint. I've got some titanium white on the canvas already. I mean some liquid white. Just upgrade the whole planet. Yeah. No 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 resource. Yeah. The whole planet. Yeah. No 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 resources are not unlimited. Although in the settings I did turn it on to plus three default so in my original playthrough last year i decided to go with default settings but then you kind of run out of stuff and it can be a little bit tiresome so i decided to just put like a lot of shit. you can put it to infinite as well but that also seems a bit lame i'm playing easy mode again excuse me rex you play protos your argument is you play protos Your argument is invalid. But yes, I am. <laughs> Look, how dare you? How dare you? <laughs> ah, sorry. Sorry, Greta. I got wrecked. Every time I see anyone write, how dare you? It's the first thing that goes to my mind. Is that a bad thing? I haven't heard of Greta in a while. I wonder what hurts more, that burn or the Will Smith slap? I mean, it didn't look like it hurt that much. But it was a good slap. As far as slaps go, like, I mean, I've seen worse slaps. It was Donation a pretty good slap. Confirmed. <laughs> confirmed. Confirmed. <laughs> Sorry, I like being first. Thank you, dude. <laughs> 8 out of 10 would assault on live television again. Yikes. But also, mm, yeah, it was, a, it was a good slap. I still feel like I probably was staged. I don't know. You guys know why he kept an open hand? Because paper beats rock. <laughs> Yeah, probably staged. Probably staged. Maybe, I don't know. Donation confirmed. To whoever stole my copy of Microsoft Office, I will find you. You have my word. Bro. <laughs> That's so bad. Donation accepted. What's brown and sticky? A stick. Okay, now we have to end the stream. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, that was... I think, I think we should probably end the stream, dude. Just, you know... It's better for everyone. You know, it's better for everyone. It's just smarter. We don't have to suffer anymore, chat. I actually thought it was pretty good. Don't tell anyone, though. Okay then, only wood. Okay then, it's a family friendly show, but fair enough. Obligatory nice.
Where are we going? Why did he teleport over there? Huh? Wait, did he cancel it? What just happened there? Huh? Did he teleport in in Did he teleport in the same location that he was already in? He was aiming towards the top left, but I'm fairly certain the battle cruiser tele like you can't cancel a tactical jump, can you? So he aimed towards the top right, and I thought that's where he was going. So he <laughs> he teleported over there. I was so confused. I was like, okay, where's he going? Like somewhere over here, right? I was ready to intercept him, and I realized, wait a second, what the? F that was weird. A flanking battle cruiser. This was StarCraft's fault, though. Yeah. You play like a bronze. <laughs> yeah. You play like. <laughs> yeah. You play like a bronze. <laughs> <sighs> He's not happy, guys. He's not having a good time. I kind of want to see his opener. So normally, with a standard two bay, uh, with a standard two bays opener, you can get a uh, battle cruiser out by like 520 or so if you do it like you know with a, a relatively normal one. This one was out before that point. I think his battle cruiser was out by like half a minute, or you know like half a minute sooner. But he didn't have a natural expo, so it was like a one base battle cruiser opener. Yeah. A one base battle cruiser opener. So he started off with a smiley face, by the way, when he saw this. So he was in a good mood at this point. Oh my god, he goes factory before orbital. Yeah, that's weird, eh? This is a bit strange. Uh, he was still saying some things. He said something about damp spore crawlers. Kind of hot, to be honest. A little hot? That moment when the spore crawler is deaf. <laughs> Hate it when that happens, dude. Happens, dude. Bro, this guy is being annoying as hell. I got double spores and I still take way too much damage. Honestly, really bad. Are there any siege tanks? He's not making any. Okay. Time to go, boys! <sighs> Could have just Link flooded and won. Yeah, hard to say, though. Cause like, the Benchies, like if there's three Benchies, they will kill a lot of Zerklings. But maybe I could've Link Flooded, yeah. Contaminate his factory loco? Contaminate what now? That that's it I can use? Yeah, you're Music's right, I should've done that. I can use? Yeah, Music's you're right, I should've done that. Detected. Hi loco, had too much sanity so you went back to StarCraft. Stream, happy April fools. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, Frankie Fox. Yeah, look, so basically, right, if uh, we have, like, my mental health right over here, right, on this axis, and then time over here, right? Last week, like, I started playing ladder again a couple weeks ago. It was pretty fun. And then last week, I went down, like, 400 MMR, right? Last week was, f***ing, like, three, 400 MMR down the drain. I kind of went like that, right? And then this week, I decided to play a lot of Dyson Sphere program, and it's been a real blast. So I've been somewhere up here again, right? I took the Sunday off, and I've been feeling really good this week. So I figured, yeah, rather than coast with a really, you know, good positive outlook on life, let's play some more StarCraft 2 last Coast with a really, you know... You know, good positive outlook on life. Let's play some more StarCraft 2 ladder instead. Does that make any sense? So like, you know, we want to have a baseline of like, you know, mental health right around here. <laughs> so I figured let's go back on the StarCraft 2 ladder. New subscriber detected. You guys have mental health. 
Glad you are better now. Good on the rinse. Thank you for the 33. What happens when I reach the bottom? Uh, when I reach about this part, I start snapping at people in the chat. Like, this is the... Let me draw it out. This is the danger zone right over here. Anytime I'm below the, the danger zone, I start, uh, yeah, getting the danger zone. I start, uh, yeah, getting snappy at people in the chat. This is where we were playing uh, Tunic last Saturday, and there were a bunch of guys in the chat being like, uh, a bunch of guys in the chat. Being like, being like, being like, uh, and being like, being like, uh, and, and that in combination with minus 300 MMR and, and you know, is too much. This is where the Twitch chat GM comments start bothering me. And anything above is fine. So most of the time I'm coasting around this, this part, right? But, uh, yeah, sometimes you play too much ladder. <laughs> Artos is level rage. Nah, I think that's probably... That's probably somewhere over here. That's a little bit further down. That's not on the X's. Nice graph loco. Very detailed. No worries. Which, which brute lord you would have won? Yes! <laughs> ah! Guy in the chat sees me dying to an immortal centriol in. What if you would have... <laughs> That Brute Lord. Just like, yes, guy in the chat. Thank you for... <laughs> thank you for the suggestion. Dude, I saw this one earlier. Suggestion. Dude, I saw... Dude, I saw this one earlier today. Look at this. So, my wife is on Cake Baker, and she did an amazing cake for a friend who's a StarCraft streamer. Bro, that is so nice. Look at the detail on that hatchery. Actually amazing. He didn't want to eat it and ruin the art. Finally he did, but almost in tears. My perfectly balanced wine collection. Yeah, I know there's a wine brand called literally Protoss. My perfectly balanced tears. My perfectly balanced wine collection. Yeah, I know there's a wine brand, literally Protoss. <laughs> Terran Prestige? Okay, this this one I guess is custom made, huh? <laughs> yeah, this goes excellent with some cheese. Really good. A Spanish red wine. Ooh. IGN made a video titled How StarCraft Changed an Entire Country and Why StarCraft Will Never Die. I haven't actually seen this one yet. StarCraft. <laughs> he looks kind of sad here. This is like, <laughs> shut up with my phone. <laughs> off the <reins> of <laughs> Loco, your MMR is doing fine. Fire emoji, fire. I wish I had a wife to leave me. Red part. Wait. <laughs> I'm fairly certain StarCraft 1 will probably- StarCraft 1 is more popular, so. Do you think there will be a Star- Could have done so much. Loco, my wife left me. So I've done so much. Look on my wife. Look on my wife left me. Starcraft time. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, she left you for two days for a bachelorette party. Okay, I was gonna say. <laughs> uh, I just the only message I saw in the chat was my wife left me. Starcraft time. <laughs> and then there's a follow up message where yeah, it's only two days. All right, fair enough. Technically still the truth. 
Slash R slash hold up. Yeah. I wish I had a wife to leave me. Interesting. I, <laughs> I saw a great slash R slash hold up yesterday. There you go. Your uncle Mark died. We are planning on cremating him. Fire emoji, fire emoji, skull emoji. <laughs> Dad, that's not how we use emojis. <laughs> the best part is, I can 100% imagine my dad accidentally doing this. Because <laughs> as soon as you, like, write a word, or you're trying to, like, you know, if you write word, the, the word fire or whatever, right, it will immediately give you the fire emoji alternative. <laughs> Anyways, it's pretty good. I don't know if you type cremation. No, I don't think it's gonna give you a fire emoji. I'm not sure. Uncle Mark has two skulls. Loco, your MMR is doing fine. Fire emoji, fire emoji, skull emoji. Toxic. Hello. I probably need another pile on me. <laughs> F I forgot a pile. <laughs> no! Why will we sh I blame the small pee pee. I, I blame. I blame the small pee pee. I, I blame, I blame the small pee pee. What happened, Loco? Nothing. What happened? Nothing, guys. Don't worry about it, man. I may or may not have counseled my own nexus. <laughs> uh, not ideal. You actually go pile on already? You actually go pile on already? No, 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 no. Actually, I should have delayed that. Yeah, yeah. We go second gateway first. So he didn't scout last game. I probably also shouldn't have Chrono. I think I'm f right? I don't think it's actually very good against Protoss at all. I don't think this is a great idea against Protoss. I'm fairly certain there's no way I win against this. I should have taken that gas faster, I guess, if I wanted to do this. Also, he can make shield batteries, right? F dude, that's not fair. I was supposed to be the one that could only make shield batteries. Yeah, there's really no way I win this. I don't see how I could. Didn't I send my stalkers over here? I thought I did, actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very good at playing Protoss. It's okay, though. We can make Protoss units, right? How hard can it really be? Mr. Zealot, could you maybe attack? Guys, this is not going so hot. I should have recalled the stalkers instead. Yeah, if I would have recalled the Stalkers, it would have been much smoother. Yeah, I've lost too much. Why the fuck are you guys doing that? Why the fuck? Why the f Why the f Why the f are you guys doing that? Okay. I'm gonna have to showcase you guys what professional micro looks like. <clears throat> this is gonna be easy, straightforward, to the point. What a mess? No, 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 we're winning this game, bro. What do you mean? I have eight probes in a dream. It's about as many workers as I started the game with. I see non-believers in the chat. I mean, not that I see how I can possibly win this, but... Ah, f he has a Void Ray. Ah, GG. Guys, um... I shouldn't have let my second gas be stolen, and I should have recalled those probes. Or, sorry, those stalkers instead. Yeah, Locos Kryptonite.
Void rays are uh, uh, quite powerful units. They're quite decent. I shoot off used corruptors. I shoot off done so indeed. Loco looking for the grammar correction. I always kind of like it though, whenever I see people writing shoot off. What the f did you just link? What the f did you just link? Ha! No! N no! Ban him, Loco? I agree. We should just ban Wombat this just to make sure that we will never see that sort of abomination on stream ever again. There's children watching this stream, Wombat this. <laughs> A ham dog. <laughs> A ham dog. No, dude, I hate it. Please stop. Dutch is beautiful. What did you just link? This. How do you say, pick my most beautiful site in Dutch? Kies my moist account? What's funny about that? He set the thing? <laughs> what? That's not what it is! What? <laughs> what? That's not what it is, Chet! No! That's not... This is a perfectly innocent Dutch sandwich. Or sandwich. Sentence. Choose my moist is like most beautiful side. Such a nasty language. Alright. Today I learned. Today I learned. That's a uh Alright, alright, gotcha. Nothing safe. It does sound a little different in English, right? Imagine not being American. Kick W, bro. That would be embarrassing. All right, chat. Americans, close your eyes. I have to uh, clear. That would be embarrassing. All right, chat. Americans, close your eyes. I have to uh, clear out my. Actually, hold up. Let me make it easier for you. All right. Nothing happened. The oil is on the farm. Okay, like it's just it was getting old, and uh, we figured we should bring it to the farm. I need to make these, New right? Yeah. Detected. Colossal rotate. I need to make these, New right? Yeah. Detected. Colossal squid have rotating meat hooks the size of tiger talons instead of suction cups. What did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> I understood those words, but in that order? Colossal squids have rotating meat hooks the size of tiger talons instead of suction cups. Well, today I learned. I don't actually think about colossal squids very much. But I will let you know that colossal squid was my nickname. <laughs> no, no. That was not my nickname. No, never mind. Tiger talons instead of suction cups. Colossal squids have rotating meat hooks the size of ti- But I will let you know that Colossal Squid was my name. <laughs> no, no. That was not my nickname. No, never mind. No, Loco, Loco. Enough. Colossal Squid. Dude, aren't Colossal Squids the ones that, like, we know very little about? I don't think we know too much about those animals in general, no.
What the f What the f That's very useful, guys. That's very useful, guys. That's super convenient. Also, USB A or USB A? Really? I was gonna say, yeah, people are not gonna be using that for uh, find my shoe. Auto warming sole. Tested at minus 20 degrees Celsius. <laughs> hey, you know what? I don't care about charging my phone. I don't care about cameras on my shoes. But if I can have kinetic energy from walking and therefore heated soles in my f***ing leg, that sounds pretty good. That would be pretty nice. Care to explain your be pretty nice. Care to explain yourself, Loco? This is yours. Ago. That was a, this is years ago, bro. That was a long time ago. This is just an, an average day in the life of Loco. This specific one, though, is uh, years ago. In before the Loran days? No, no. It's been a while, man. Coming up on like seven years. She's been uh, dealing with my bullshit for seven years. Imagine that. That's not as long as Dita Hunter, for what it's worth. Dita Hunter has been dealing with my bullshit for longer. Dita Hunter has been dealing with my bush. Bush. I've been dealing with my bush. I've been dealing with my bush. Bush. For longer. He's got like a hundred months up. Something like that. Yeah, I keep asking Dita Hunter to get married with me, but he doesn't want to chat. It is what it is. Are you ready, chat? So he recommended Low Sick as a uh, new Twitch chat emote. Not exactly sure when we'd use it, but then again, I didn't know when you guys would use low spray either. And, uh, you know, that one has turned out to be, uh, anyways. <sighs> I think it turned out pretty awesome. That is really cool. She makes amazing emotes, man. She, she does a lot of cool stuff. Most of my emotes... She, I think it... <sighs> I think it turned... I think it turned out pretty awesome. That is really cool. She makes amazing emotes, man. She she does a lot of cool stuff. Most of my emotes are made by her these days. Highly recommend. Underscore art anime on, uh, on Twitter. Anyways, she originally made another version of this emote. And, um, this emote. And, um, this one is just really unrealistic, chat. Look, this is the previous version of it. This is the newer one. This one is the one with facial hair. I was like, <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to hear the end of it. <laughs> well, <laughs> too much. It's too much facial hair. That stubble is just awfully unrealistic. We can't have that. Especially the mustache area. I don't grow a mustache, bro. Anyway. Yeah, it's really nice. Oh. Always perfectly shaved? Sure. Let's say that's the case. That thermometer is pretty phallic. Come on, man! Loco, I grow that in an hour after shaving. Strange flex, but oh. Strange flex, but oh. Strange flex, but oh. I blame Echo Soldier for starting the Mario Erotica, guys. I suggest we just preemptively ban Echo Soldier out of the chat. Not because he did something wrong today, but just, you know, to make sure that none of this can happen again in the future. A preemptive bonk. Donation confirmed. So Loco inserted his coal into my smelter. A preemptive bonk. 
Donation confirmed. Preemptive bonk. Donation confirmed. Co inserted his coal into my smelter. Solo co inserted his coal into my smelter. Solo co inserted his coal into my smelter. Burning the hot flames of passion, reducing his iron rod into mold. No, 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 no smelter. I'm just smelting some shit. I mean, that was a perfectly fine sentence. I don't even know why that's funny. That was a perfectly fine and normal sentence. Nothing to be ashamed of. Gotta say that Will Smith joke slapped ashamed of. Gotta say that Will Smith joke slapped hard. Gotta say that Will Smith joke slapped hard. A got him. Donation confirmed. There can be 100 people in a room and 99 of them won't slap you, but one will. <clears throat> Thank you, Bunny Ward. Well memed. Someone, this is a. Someone, this is a little, a little, a little trick, okay? Someone sent this dog point. Someone, this is a little, a little trick, okay? Someone sent this document at some point that I saved as a command for exclamation point Brian? This is a Brian text-to-speech manual for Pepegas. Anyways, it's made by G Shredder. All right. So someone has done a full documentation on how to make Brian talk. <laughs> there, there is just... There is a, a lit, like someone's done the, t <laughs> there's a f***ing thesis on how to make the text to speech bot say bad things. How to make him as obnoxious as possible. Isn't that hilarious? I love the internet for this sort of thing. Look at this. The Brian text to speech synthesizer is a versatile system that correctly transform. Look at this. He's, well, look at this. Pre-emphasis, frame blocking, windowing, autocorrelation analysis. Like he's done a full research. The LPC model visualized in a block diagram. What the f All of this just to be obnoxious in a Twitch chat. Phonetic alphabet support. Force falling intonation. Force rising intonation. <laughs> it's so dumb. But I kind of like it. How many hours do you think this guy sp I have not donated in over six months. I do still update this and use my monthly sub donation to get skipped by the mods. This means I've been skipped a total of 16 times. This guy is documenting everything in his life, man. He's got Excel spreadsheets for everything. Yeah, maybe it's a community effort, but... It very clearly says his username right here at the front. Anyways... I think I should be able to make it home now. He doesn't see? What am I not seeing? Oh, there was a huge list of names. I just saw one name. Classic. Uh, so one thing Donation we need to really do confirmed. is this. Classic. Uh, so one thing Donation we need to really do confirmed. is this. This document is so square, 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 square. What have you started? Thank you, T for Samuel. I, I was just... Maybe I shouldn't have. Donate. Donation confirmed. You better not think anything dirty, chat. I'm just starting my lawnmower. Otherwise, I spray you like. <laughs> I'm glad that while we're lost in the middle of space, Ace Gamer is still providing some entertainment. T for Samuel as well, yeah. I just wanted to give you guys a perfect view. I'll give you guys a perfect view. Samuel as well, yeah. I just wanted to give you guys a perfect view. I just wanted to. I just wanted to give you guys a perfect view system as it comes into clear view. 
It's actually kind of beautiful. Donate. Donation confirmed. <laughs> All right, great guys, great, great stuff. Thanks. I think I Donation did. Donation confirmed. Thanks. I think I Donation did. Donation confirmed. How do you spell loco? H L H O H W H K H O H loco. What? The f okay. Kate Lockwell sucks and Donnie from Million is the best character in the game. Game my mind. Good meme. Fear Dragon coaching to five shades. Good meme. Fear Dragon coaching to five shades of Protos. The all in clinic. <laughs> the cops don't. <laughs> the cops don't want you to know this weird trick that ladder players use. Ay, 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 ay. Is this a real life barcode? You can have a license plate like this in the U.S.? Nonsense I don't think we do... Detected. I don't know which one. Happy Saturday, it looks kind of fake. It does look kind of fake, yeah. Hey, thank you, N slash up for the 29. Welcome back. Amaranth gifting 30 subs. Welcome back. Amaranth gifting 30 subs to Artosis. <laughs> Amaranth gifted a sub to a guy Why in the I chat. My race? <laughs> hey! Look at that, Amaranth, gifting 30 subs. Thank you very much. New subscriber detected. <laughs> Is that for real? Very good taste in games. I appreciate it, Amaranth. No, oh, apparently it is. Loco, I live in Virginia. That looks real to me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is so bad. This is so stupid. I think this is real, guys. Pretty sure Arnold plays Protoss. New subscriber. Replace the mothership with the Terminator. That would be awesome. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> Arturus Manx is the greatest emperor ever, Chad. What the f? <laughs> so st I got it working again. I got it working again, by the way, Tefuni. It's, uh, it's sticking again. I've already shown this on stream yesterday. Hey, are you gonna focus? There you go. The, the, the thing is working again, which is pretty sweet. I, uh, for those of you that weren't here yesterday, I've already shown this, but this is apparently my great-grandfather's watch. Which is pretty sick. And it wasn't running anymore. Hadn't been used in, like, 50 years. Now, he couldn't, he couldn't say exactly what year this was from. Apparently, so from what my dad understands, uh, he had two watches. One was like, uh, he had two watches. He had two stands. He had two watches. One was like a, an older one and a smaller one, and this one he bought a little bit later on in his life. He probably, I don't know, we're guessing he bought it like right around when he was like 40 years old or something along those lines. So he probably bought it in the 1940s, which is pretty cool. How did you fix it? I brought it to a watchmaker. So basically what they do is they open it up and then they take apart the movement and then they uh, they clean the whole thing. Yeah. What am I gonna do with it? Look at it. <laughs> yeah, just put it somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> I don't intend on doing much with it, but I think it's cool that it still works. Loco treasure room in the making. I'm not usually one for sentimental items. I don't really keep a lot of around, but... um. This thing is also not worth a lot of money or anything, but it's cool to, you know. I like the idea of, uh, I mean, I didn't know this guy, right? He passed away. I think my dad said 77. So in 1977. So he passed away a long time ago. I obviously wasn't born yet, but uh, it's cool that we can uh, still have that working. Yeah, you have to wind it. You have to wind the, uh, the crown at the top. I don't know if you can hear it. I don't know if it wants to wind. Can you hear that? I don't know if you can. Anyways, you gotta wind it. I don't know how long the power reserve or anything like that is, but it's kind of cool that it works. Watch ASMR, yeah. You should leave it for a Peaky Blinders cosplay. <laughs> I can be a Peaky f blinder. 
I need to have a uh, like a like a, a three. What do you what do you even call that? One of those things. A vest? Is that what it's called? I think it's called a vest. So this is this is where they used. I think it's called. I think it's called a vest. So this is this is where they used to keep them back in the day. So I think the the chain part goes through one of like the uh, the loops on the on the on the vest or whatever, and then this thing goes in a little pocket. A waistcoat? A waistcoat? I'm pretty sure, dude. This should definitely come back in style. Yeah, yeah, that'd be pretty sick. What are be so sick? You're pretty sick. Would there be something special with half a million subs? Nah. Uh, I'll do a million subs. Nah. I'll do a face reveal. A face reveal is a good idea. There will be new young people interested in StarCraft 2 and old people die without deleting their YouTube account. Oh, yikes. I mean, the StarCraft audience is pretty old, but I don't think the StarCraft audience in general is dying of old age just yet, Sanjon. I mean, my average viewer is between 18 and 44. I fully intend on getting older than at least 44. Yeah, that'd be nice. We're getting, yeah, we are headed in that direction, don't get me wrong. Like, the StarCraft viewers will probably uh, yeah, die sooner than the Fortnite crowd. It is what it is, guys. They've got like two decades on us, what can I tell you? People start dying around 30? Really? Got a half year remaining, boys. I'm pretty sure once you've made it to 30, I don't know what the stats are, but I'm fairly certain if you've made it to like age 20, the odds of you making it to like age 60 are pretty high. I don't know. I'm just, you know, I'm just thinking, but I feel like, yeah. I saw a new study where they reversed aging in mice, so there's still hope. Nice. If only I was a mice or a mouse that, you know, where they reversed it, become jellyfish and never die. <laughs> a mouse would not live for very long in my house. No, even if it had reverse aging and everything. My cats would absolutely destroy them. I'd be satisfied with living as long as a sea turtle. How long does a sea turtle live? Some can live up to 50 years. That's kind of a sad outlook, bro. Some, I'm sure there are some turtles that can get really old, but... A regular sea turtle. Most marine turtles take decades to mature and remain actively reproductive for another 10 years. Alright guys. So if you aren't uh, mature yet at age 30, it's fine. You can still reproduce for a decade at that point. Can turtles live up to 500 years? Some have estimated however that large turtles may be able to live 400 to 500 years. That's a long time. How old was the oldest sea turtle? 400. It's in captivity in an aquarium. Oldest sea turtle? 400. It's in captivity in an aquarium in China and weighs 300 kilograms. Dude, he's just a thick boy sitting around all day. Living the life. <laughs> that doesn't sound too bad. He's just... <laughs> not too bad. He's just sitting there. <laughs> Jonathan, the world's oldest living land animal, has earned an- Wait. This guy has turned 190? And China claims to have a turtle in an aquarium that's 400 years old? Pepe sus? A land animal? Oh, is a sea turtle not considered a land animal? There, I guess they can do a little bit of both, huh? This is a Galapagos turtle, not a sea turtle? I can see a turtle very clearly, what are you talking about? Jonathan's age is an estimation based on the fact that he was fully mature and hence at least 50 years old when he arrived. In all likelihood, he's even older than we think. Yeah, well, he's still a turtle though, right? So like, you know, he's just kind of chilling. I don't know what turtles think about. He's probably not thinking about death. He's, he's, <laughs> he's just probably hanging out. <laughs> he's probably just chilling, thinking about, I don't know, his next meal. Yeah, there's probably very little thinking involved. I swear to god, the only things my cats think about is food. Especially Milo. After breakfast, he starts thinking about lunch. Especially Milo. After breakfast, he starts thinking about lunch. After lunch, he starts thinking about dinner. He starts thinking about breakfast.
After breakfast, he starts thinking actually Milo. After breakfast, he starts thinking about lunch. After lunch, he starts thinking about dinner. After dinner, he starts thinking about breakfast. This is just it's a breakfast. breakfast. This is just about breakfast. This is just rinse and repeat. This is the only thing I think about. I'm fairly sure. Every once in a while, he gets horribly distracted by a moving thing. Sometimes he has to, uh, I don't know, show Toby who's boss, but that's really about it. That's, <laughs> that's what you do, Gango? You get excited about dinner when you're eating lunch? Oh yeah, right, sorry, Envisi. I meant breakfast, dinner, tea. Right. Do you think about Skytles during breakfast, lunch, and dinner? No, not really. Look who do you know, these four meerkats. Not really. Look who do you know, these four meerkats. Dude, I... Yeah, Dita Park Am Dude, I yeah, this is Dita Park Amersfoort. That's like, I don't know, 20 minutes away from where I live. Maybe less. Oh my god, they are. Oh my god, they're pretty cute. Dude, I like how this guy is already acting cool right here. Look, <laughs> I like how he's looking upon his kingdom. Kingdom. It is Kingdom. It is I, babies. I it is I. Look at my look at my babies. I have produced these. <laughs> Scouting ahead, dude. She's like a Zelda watchtower. Yeah, I've probably seen it. I mean, we go to the... So the deer park is like... That's like a zoo, right? This is like... We, we go there every couple of years, usually. We've been there a couple of times, anyways. They, like, remind me of, like, if cats and hamsters or, like, cats and rats were to, like... Maybe it should be called mere rats. Or... <laughs> wait, wait, no. Cat rats. I, I don't know. We need, like, some... But it, it's like... It's like two different animals mixed together. In Dutch, they're called stokstartje. Stokstartje means like... St <laughs> Jet Dutch. Stokstartje means like... St <laughs> Jet, don't take that out of context. Stok is the Dutch word for like a stick. And startje means tail. So it's like stick tail. I'm <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm not even- I'm not even gonna continue this trend. No, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can't- I can't say anything, bro. It's not possible. The first low hot already <laughs> appeared in the chat before I even said anything. I didn't make that up on the spot. No, no, for real. Dutch is a pretty efficient language. We just, you know, have two words together and it's like, stock start. In German, it's called Earth Mansion. That's like Earth person, I guess, right? Earth people. Is that what you said as well, Isohas? I didn't actually read what you said. I just saw the response. Earth something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a lot of effort, man, being bald, actually. Now you'd suddenly have to shave your head every, like, what? Every week? Maybe every two weeks. Maybe daily, bro. Maybe you gotta be on top of it. If you wanna be like, you know... Every third day? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Day? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Modless. <laughs> Alright, no, bro, what the f***? Alright, I... No. I missed it. Ay, 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 ay. Censorship. Alright, <laughs> You had a different freedom sheen uh, in mind from Braveheart. That's okay. Free the people he does not look up. Motless is the people's voice, though. He's one of the Twitch chat all like saying Motless is speaks for you. He does not look up. Loco.
Ooh. IGN made a video titled How StarCraft Changed an Entire Country and Why StarCraft Will Never Die. I haven't actually seen this one yet. StarCraft will never die. Since its release in 1998, it has been played non-stop in South... Yeah, so, fun fact. Uh, yesterday was the official 24th birthday of StarCraft 1. So the 31st of March was the 24th birthday of StarCraft 1. I know that some of you probably stood in line uh, ready to pick up that game. Are you feeling old yet? Anyways. South Korea. In fact, you would be very, very, very hard pressed to find a month where StarCraft was not in the top 10 most played games in PC bongs, aka internet cafes, across the country. That's 24 years of StarCraft being played consistently, day after day, month after month, year over year. Are we gonna do our StarCraft Pro Gamer trivia? All right, guys, let's go. Instantly, day after. Let's bring Twitch chat into the mix. Who's this? Gabe? Is that Big Gabe? CJ and ready to pick up the anyways. South Korea. In fact, you would be very, very hard pressed to find the things, aka internet cafes, across the country. That's 24 years of StarCraft being played consistently, day after day, year. Are we gonna do our StarCraft Pro Gamer trivia? All right, guys, let's go. Instantly. Day after. Let's bring Twitch chat into the mix. Who's this? Gabe? Is that Big Gabe? CJ and I mean, he's not on CJ anymore. Yeah, it's okay. Clem is also... He had his name on his shirt? Wait. No, he didn't. Is that Gumiho? I was thinking MC for a second. Year but... over year. Ooh, this one's harder. Well, the perfect posture has to be showtime, right? Everyone kind of just sits behind their... Oh, Ooh, this one's harder. Well, the perfect posture has to be showtime, right? Everyone kind of just sits behind their computer like that. Sure, has to be showtime, right? Everyone kind of just sits behind their computer like that. I swear to God, man, like, Showtime is just a different specimen, uh, different specimen of a human, like, just always good. Is that Rainer? I think that might be Rainer. It's kind of hard to see. By 2007, StarCraft had sold 9.5 million copies worldwide, and 4.5 million of those sales belonged to South Korea, a country with a population of 48.6 million at the time. The game fueled the massive expansion of PC bongs, spawned an entire esports industry, gave rise to rock stars. Oh, oh, oh. We have more chat. More StarCraft trivia. This one's easy, though. That one's easy. Yeah, that's Mr. Bion. And packed venues and beaches with thousands of screaming fans. Billboards, clothing, dedicated esports TV channels, big time sponsors, team houses. It all started with StarCraft. And it's why the game is immortal. <laughs> it's very dramatic, this introduction, man. Is StarCraft immortal? Uh, it is not gonna go anywhere anytime soon. That's for sure. Is it immortal? I mean... Just because it's around for a long time, you know, that doesn't mean it's... Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. PC Bongs had already been operating for a few years... It does have immortals in the game. Yeah, that's true. Korea since 1994, and were a spot for coffee, checking email, or playing a few games like Go. But as PC gaming became more popular, there was a shift in their operations, specifically around 1996 when Diablo and Battle.net were released. PC Bongs started buying more and more PCs to accommodate the demand to play games. Many homes in South Korea at the time either didn't have a PC, or weren't internet capable, driving even more of the younger populace to PC bongs to hang out. It was the perfect storm. The rise of the internet, coupled with PC bongs- oh, oh, I think that's our lord and savior. The man who everyone should have a shrine for in the living room. That has to be Saro. Lord Cyril, right there he is. 
Who's that on the left, though? That's kind of hard. I was thinking Kalazur for a second, but I'm not sure. The perfect storm. Oh, maybe it's his brother. Is that Protal, sir? Rise yeah, that's his brother. Internet. That's his brother. You're right. Uh, Sarah has an older brother that used to play StarCraft 2, and then he stopped playing StarCraft 2 at a high level to go get this. To go to school. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> I wonder how often how, how often Protals are things like, oh my god, what if I would have, like, you know. Because my brother's a millionaire right now, right? Like, what if I decided to? <laughs> <laughs> I guess there's always what ifs, right? You could you could not live your life with what if, but it is an interesting, uh, yeah, it is an interesting thought process, I guess. Bong. Uh, yeah, it is an interesting thought process, I guess. Bongs. Because he was good. Spot for people to go oh, yeah, it is with friends. friends. So when StarCraft hit in 19 well, PC Bong hit in 1998. Everything went into overdrive. Instead of heading to a billiards room after school, students would hit up their local PC Bong to play StarCraft. Stats? That's really hard. I think it, yeah, it has to be stats, right? Because of the hoodie? I mean, that team is not lo no longer around anymore either. But I think it's the stats. Stats is currently in the military, by the way, which kind of sucks. Yeah, it is an interesting thought. Like, you know, very large news to watch. Yeah, it is an interesting The game was nothing. of a cringy one. ...league known as Star League. But it was when a player... ...insert to... This is what StarCraft, by the way, looks... Stats? This is really hard. I think it... Yeah, it has to be stats. I mean, that team is not lo no longer around anymore either, but it, I think it's the Stats. Stats is currently in the military, by the way, which kind of sucks. And it meant more and more PCs were needed, and to this day, there are over 20,000 PC bongs across South Korea. The best players drew an audience around their PC while they competed against the best online to climb the rankings. Owners of PC bongs saw what was happening, and they started hosting small tournaments in their venue and sponsoring players. I found this is what StarCraft, by the way, looked like back when I first started watching it. Like, not this is StarCraft 1, right? But I remember watching the GSL on the GOM TV player back in 2010. So not only could you not just watch the live stream, the way it worked is you had to use the sh player called the GOM player, and then you had to do like a custom URL insert to try and be able to watch the English broadcast. And then it kind of looked like this. They had like a premium thing that you could purchase and you got like a higher quality URL that you could use as like, it is, it is kind of wild. I have no idea how many people used to watch back then. But yeah, we've come a very long way. No, it's called GOM player, G-O-M. And you and sponsoring players, a foundational move for StarCraft Esports. In 1998, a player named Shinju Young, who would typically play for up to 15 hours a day, became the first recognized pro gamer in Korea. At the same time, two small East rookie numbers, by the way, 15 hours only. Sports leagues were competing with one another. Dude, I like how this guy. Oh, dude, I yeah, this is Dita Park Amos for fabulous. Oh my god, they are. Oh my god, they're pretty cute. Dude, I like how this guy is already acting cool right here. And it meant more and more PCs were needed. And this is what StarCraft, by the way, looked like. Tournaments in their venue. And they started hosting small tournaments in their venue and sponsoring players. I found 
This is what StarCraft, by the way, looked like back when I first started watching it. Like, not this is StarCraft 1, right? But I remember watching the GSL on the GOM TV player back in 2010. So not only could you not just watch the live stream, the way it worked is you had to use this player called the GOM player, and then you had to do like a custom URL insert to try and... And then it kind of looked like this. They had like a premium thing that you could purchase, and you got like a higher quality URL that you could use as like... It is... It is kind of wild. I have no idea how many people used to watch back then. But yeah, we've come a very long way. No, it's called GOM Player. G-O-M. And you and sponsoring players, a foundational move for StarCraft Esports. In 1998, a player named Shinju Young, who would typically play for up to 15 hours a day, became the first recognized pro gamer in Korea. At the same time, two small esports- Rookie numbers, by the way. 15 hours only? Sports leagues were competing with one another. The Korean Pro Gamers League, founded in 1997, and Net Club. But it was when a player named Sam Jung won the 1999 Brood War Ladder Tournament that StarCraft started creating superstars. With that win, Sam Jung began appearing in commercials for Cornet, an internet provider. In 2000, a few key things happened. First, the Korean Esports Association, or KESPA, was created to manage esports athletes as part of the Korean Ministry of Culture in order to safeguard players, standardize the industry, and run the esports side of things. Second, the world's first dedicated esports TV channel, On Game Net, or OGN, was launched, which included the soon to be massively successful StarCraft League known as Star League. Dude, and this finally, is great. This is a great over. video. Like, they actually did proper research. I was thinking this was going to be a little bit of a cringy one. Just because we see some of those titles, you know, very large YouTube channels from time to time, but like this is well researched. The same year, Samsung partnered with the Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism to put on the first World Yeah, IGN Games. obviously. Uh... In 2002, Korea recognized Pro Gamer as an official job title, one that many kids cited as what they wanted to be when they grew up. <laughs> I actually, um, I've asked my nieces and nephews that, right? So apparently the coolest thing that kids want to be in school right now when they are asked what they want to be when they grow up, you know the job they want to be? They they want to be a be they they want to be a YouTuber. Yeah, they want to be a YouTuber. <laughs> So I apparently am literally the coolest uncle. I didn't know that either, but there you go. Four short years. That's all it took ah, for the foundation of this job to be cemented. One game, one country, thousands of PC bongs, millions of players. But this was just the beginning of StarCraft's rise to immortality. Ah! Oh, sorry. Is... Oh, my God! He's going for it. He's going on top of the Colossus. Oh One Colossus God. remaining. He needs to keep it back. I can see Marines somewhere. I think there's Marines. Yes, there were. That is just too good with his control. This is it. Tasteless. SOS is done. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. Pion. Teamless Pion is the GSL CODES champion. The game was nothing without the players. The first Star League winner in 2000 was actually a Canadian named Gurr, but from then on StarCraft was considered South Korea's bread and butter. StarCraft Brood War received a balance patch in May of 2001 and wouldn't receive any more updates until September of 2008. That's actually a pretty crazy time, right? So like, for the longest time StarCraft 1 did not actually get any sort of upgrades whatsoever. Isn't that wild? So the way that they fixed that, because obviously people found out silly, you know, broken strategies that were way too good, is they made the maps um, worse for like one race, um, worse for like one race, made the maps um, worse, the maps worse for like one race or another. So like say Terran was too good because they found some broken strategy, they would adjust the maps to make them harder for Terrans. I still don't really understand why Blizzard decided to go full hands off off of that. Like, it seems kind of silly. Obviously, they didn't really set up, I guess, for uh, StarCraft 1 to be an eSport at all. And StarCraft 2 also wasn't really set up for it in a way. But anyways. With no further adjustments to units and gameplay in sight, players were able to truly master the game. I'm going to try this. This is one of the hardest things for to do with Dragoon. So sick. Legends began to emerge from the StarCraft scene, and titles started being applied to special achievements. 
boxer, for example, was the first to not only win back-to-back -back Star Leagues in 2001, but also walked the Royal Road, winning his first Star League the first time he participated. Good old boxer. Later that year, Protoss player Garmido stopped Boxer from three-peating Star League, creating the curse Legend of the Fall, a prediction that a Protoss player will win the fall season of Star League. Another Protoss player, Reach, contributed to this legend when he also stopped Boxer from winning Star League in the fall of 2002. These players and more... They made them look... Yeah, it's true. They made them look like, like astronauts in some of those tournaments. They look kind of like Power Rangers in some of those shots. It's very like early 2000s like slash like late 90s. It's kind of cool actually. I I sometimes look back at those and I think they're pretty neat, but <laughs> I understand that it's had to steer away from those. Gods at StarCraft, becoming known for unique strats and playstyles, but they also became niche celebrities in Korean culture. That's with MC. Players being recognized on the street and tiny rural hometowns being recognized because a StarCraft player was from there. 사천 그러면은 사람들이 사천이 어딘지도 몰랐어요. 근데 진주 옆에 사천, 삼천포 옆에 사천 이렇게 칭을 했거든요. 근데 요즘은 우리 유진이 때문에 저 같은 경우에는 요 학교 관계자분들도 그렇고 시청의 관계자분들도 아 사천의 자랑 김유진 선수 어머니 오셨습니까? What for real? I mean, to... 정말 좋습니다. 그리고 I mean, to be fair, I would have never heard of Par Nine and either, right? If it wasn't for Cyril. They could just rename that to Serralville or something along those lines. Yeah, I haven't seen the original video of that shot, but that's really cool. There are four particular players that cemented their place in the pantheon of StarCraft history. All right, Chet. Who are the four? I mean, this is StarCraft 1, though, so this is a long-ass time ago. I also didn't really watch that much StarCraft 1. Well, Flash is definitely one of them. I'm assuming, yeah, Yellow's probably going to be one of them. Nada is going to be one of them. I don't know if they're including Boxer in this list as well. There's like a bunch of really uh, big gape. Yeah. <laughs> Jadong, probably. I mean, Stork is like a little bit later, Protoss I guess. Players, but... Bisu and Stork, a hey. Terran right. player named Flash, and a Zerg player named Jadong. Oh, okay. They are more commonly known as Take Bang Li Sang, a combination of their names. From 2007 to 2000. In 2012, these players met and feuded, leading to historic moments like Flash beating Stork in 2008 to become Star League's youngest champion at 15 years old. JJ! Each of them pioneered gameplay strategies that rippled throughout the scene, influencing the Dude, it looked so bad, right? Like, this is how people used to watch StarCraft back in the day, dude. Look at this. There's mutalisks over there, but, like... <laughs> There's mutalisks over there, but, like... <laughs> Look, this is the Gum TV player that I was talking about. It's, it's less than 144p, man. I guess it's not just resolution. It's just a bitrate that's incredibly low. ...to adopt their favorite pro... player's style of play, causing discussions across message boards and in PC bongs about new ways to tap. Many tournaments during these players' reign ended up in the semifinals or grand finals of StarCraft. Only if Not there really was a anyone lot of in StarCraft. Like, when it comes to, you know, Bisu, Flash, and Jadong, there's not really anyone that lift up to that, right? I mean, there's a couple of players that are very well-known. Firebat Hero, one of them. For special players, moments, and other <laughs> tournaments. <laughs> because of in interesting celebrations. <laughs> he had some great celebrations whenever he did well at tournaments. Terran player by the name of Firebat Hero was famous, <laughs> or infamous depending on who you were, for his over-the-top post-game celebrations. His most notable pop-off came in 2008 on the beaches of Busan after giving his team a 3-1 lead in the SPL Finals. 
in front of countless thousands, <laughs> Firebat Hero stripped down to his bathing suit and took a dip in the waters of Busan. <laughs> StarCraft didn't just have an impact on South Korea either. While the West lacked things like accessible and affordable PC bongs, our own community emerged in the form of Team Liquid and TL.net. New world opened up to me. That's something I answered from the very beginning. In 2002, TL.net launched as a gateway for non-Korean fans of StarCraft to connect and learn about the most recent matches, new strategies for each race, or just talk about the game. Team Liquid, what made uh, TL.net... Victor Gozens. Um, hello, Gozen, Gozens, um, hello, Gozens. hello, Gozens, not, not, uh, it's okay. Special. TeamLiquid.net's point of difference was this unique blend of a love of high-level StarCraft set to a backdrop of being a home for some of the world's best players. When I say some of the world's best, it was Liquid and non-Liquid players alike choosing to spend their time on the site. The culture of the site was such that there was a deep appreciation for those who were demonstrably very skilled, and I think that default level of respect afforded to great players made it easy for them to find a home with us. One of the aspects that truly set apart a site like TL was the VOD database that holds matches dating back to October of 1999. Without a way to access OGN overseas, TL.net was an informational conduit for StarCraft fans worldwide. Western fans could watch the latest StarCraft matches anywhere in the world thanks to the website. Without its creation, Western fandom and adoption likely would have lagged behind. In 2010, Blizzard released StarCraft II. It was a welcome refresh to the StarCraft scene that hadn't seen an update since 2001. Hell, it's, it's about, about time. time. While the sequel was well received by most and pros from the Brood War era of StarCraft competed in StarCraft II, many returned to Brood War. <laughs> even. <with laughs> <laughs> That's Jadon. I Starcraft love the too. chairs right here. We love the dong. And over here, the dong is hard to. Over here. The. The dong is hard to beat or something. Or something. It's so stupid. <laughs> you know these guys set up for this, right? For like they probably planned this a week in advance. They probably made sure that they came to the venue early just with their stupid cheers. We love the dog. To be fair, yeah, J Dome is uh he's a great player. Many return to Brood War, even with Blizzard pumping up the SC2 scene with big prize pools and the creation of the StarCraft World Championship Series, a year-long circuit that culminated at BlizzCon. <coughs> The WCS was its own beast, creating its own magical moments. From watching SOS, SOS become a two-time champ, <laughs> to beyond winning GSL Codes without a team, and then WCS, to seeing Serral become the first... Ooh, I have not seen... I was right GSL there. I took Codes a picture... A team. I took a... I took a picture of Byun doing this exact move. I was somewhere right over here. This could be my hand, chat. I'm just saying. I have got pictures somewhere on my Instagram. I don't know if I can find this really quickly. I got into uh, a bit of an argument with some of the some of the actual press there. So they had some actual press <laughs> at the BlizzCon finals then. And they were there with their big-ass cameras. And I kind of showed, <laughs> showed up with my phone. And I kind of showed up. <laughs> Showed up with my phone. Um, and they didn't like me being in the press area, but I had a press badge. So I was like, you know what? I, I belong to be here. Screw you. Oh, yeah, I found it. So this was 232 weeks ago. Oh, I thought I posted multiple pictures. Anyways, this is literally that exact same moment, New though. Subscriber this is that same moment. So I <laughs> hope you have a nice day. 
I made it in the video, guys. I think that's that might be maybe I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Torox, for the four months. And then check the watch loco. No, no, no. That's one of those. Uh, I am allowed to be here bracelets. You see us. The scene Sarah will become the first non-Korean to win the WCS Copium. and break the 20 year stranglehold of Korean dominance from 2018. It had its own storylines and superstars. But Brood War was still king and still being played in PC bongs and on TV. Blizzard attempted to shut down the Brood War scene in 2010 when StarCraft 2 was released, but the fans won out. Oh my god. Korean broadcasters were able to strike a deal with Blizzard, Beardless. allowing them to continue er, to run and Beard televise Tasteless. Brood War. Then, Blizzard released StarCraft Remastered in 2018, when they celebrated the 20th anniversary of the StarCraft franchise. With it, they announced that StarCraft players and it had full... Rain is actually such a legend, right? So for those of you unfamiliar, Rain used to play StarCraft like one professionally first, then he came to StarCraft 2 and he won a whole bunch of premier events, and then he went back to StarCraft 1 again. So he's like one of the very few people that has actually been really, really successful in both StarCraft 2 and StarCraft 1. Isn't that cool? Like, he's still a monster right now. He's, he's I don't know, does he still play Brood War? I think he does, right? Anyway. Um, Korean Brood War players, and it had full I don't Blizzard. follow Brood War as closely as StarCraft 2, but I'm, I'm pretty sure he hasn't left. Support. The fans asked, and Blizzard delivered. StarCraft Remastered was also unique in the way it was created. Throughout its development process, Blizzard consulted with players Flash and Storm. <laughs> I remember this too! This was actually an awkward moment. That was the first time I ever met Jadong. So Jadong ended up losing that game. And I was one of those guys, and I didn't really consider this. I was one of those guys- when was this? No, this is earlier. I was one of those guys that walked up to him after he lost the game to ask if he wanted to be on a photo with me. I maybe have scrolled past it. Anyways, I took a selfie with Jadong. After he lost a, a tournament game. And he looked kind of... Oh no, this is the one with, with Beyond that I'm talking about. That was a good picture. Um, uh, I don't know if that was the same... Uh, no. I may have scrolled by it on accident. Anyways, long story short. He looked kind of sad in the picture. And it reminds me because he looks kind of sad here. This is like literally a, w a minute before I asked if he wanted to take a picture of me. Am I a bad guy? I don't know. Long Tory sort? Sure. Is that what I said? Anyways. Bisu and Jadong to figure out what they should update and what they shouldn't as they rebuilt StarCraft. <laughs> Players wanted largely the same game, unique bugs and all. And Blizzard listened and left them in to preserve the gameplay. This choice from Blizzard went a long way to helping the Brood War scene continue to thrive. In 2020, Blizzard took its hands off the reins of this beloved franchise. Blizzard handed StarCraft back to the people who were most passionate about it who helped build up and maintain Aww. it as an eSport when Blizzard was focused on one of their other IPs. Rest StarCraft was back in the hands of the people, and because of that, StarCraft continues on, not budging from the top 10 of PC bongs, despite the fact that Brood War is 24 years old. Looking back at the legacy of the StarCraft franchise, the foundations it created, the bridges it built, the memories it's produced, and the careers it shaped, it's no wonder the game is immortal. Oh, that's a good shot to end on. Uh, we learned a couple days ago that Mr. Sue is back. Yeah, in control and TB both in the video. That's pretty cool. Anyways, Sue, uh, yeah, has decided to return to StarCraft 2. So he finished his mandatory service. And I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> Blizzard gave it to other people instead of Blizzard gave up. Um, I don't know if Blizzard gave up, but... Yeah, they don't really care that much anymore, which really is a shame, right? Anyways, I've talked about that many, many times before, and I don't really want to get into it again, but... Good video right here by IGN. Very nice. <laughs> Nothing quite like Artos is a tasteless smiling at you when you finish watching that video. I'm fairly certain StarCraft 1 will probably outlast StarCraft 2. Like, StarCraft 1 is already very popular in Korea again. Like, StarCraft 2 gained some popularity, but StarCraft 1 has always been more. More popular, so... Do you think there will be a StarCraft 3 in the near future? Nah. Blizzard has kind of dropped the ball on many of their things after the last couple of years, man. Could have done so much.
After breakfast, he starts thinking about lunch. After lunch, he starts thinking about dinner. After dinner, he starts thinking about breakfast. This is just... That's not what it is, Jet! I don't know. Resources are not unlimited. Although in the settings, I did turn it on to plus three default. So in my original playthrough last year, I decided to go with default settings. But then you kind of run out of stuff and it can be a little bit tired. So... Okay then. All right, guys. Will these acidic looking, glow in the dark looking. All right, guys. Will these acidic looking, glow in the dark looking Bane links kill every single one of these links? Do I do I have to close my eyes already? Oh, oh God. <laughs> he hit a great timing. I will give Grimdy that. Grimdy got there right when his upgrades finished. It's just that he ran the Zerklings right into the one unit he didn't want to run them into. But, you know what? Starting off with some fireworks. Thort on the offensive. Zerklings over here trying to get some work done, okay. Thort on the offensive. Zerklings over here trying to get some work done, okay. As long as Grimdy has got some more units coming across the map, I'm fairly certain he should just be able to obtain the victory. He wants to... Oh, 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 Grimdy! <laughs> God tier micro targets every single one of the Banelings down. Making more Hydras on the back of it. <laughs> Making more Hydras on the back of it. Do you think Thor to realize that the units burrowed? Burrow! Burrow! Quick! Burrow! Oh. No, no, no. No, get out of here. Okay, there is an Overseer coming up, but it's a little bit late to the party. The Hydras from Grimdy are already gone. Sneak 100. Yeah, those are Brute War strategies. What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing, Grimdy? Hold up. The man went 14 hatch. Into double gas, into evo chamber, into another, into eventually a spawning pool. Well, I'm... Uh, okay, we'll, we'll see. I mean, he was really trying hard to convince us that he was bad at the game. I think that he was bad at the game. I think he probably started up an evo chamber thinking it was a spawning pool. <laughs> spawning pools look very similar to evo chambers while they're building. Thort, go! No, bro, what are you doing? Go! This is not good for my blood pressure. Can you please, can you please go do something? Can, can, okay, all right, we're doing something. If Grimdy asked, hey, can you like not attack? I forgot making a spawning pool. I'm fairly certain Thor would have backed off. I'm actually dead, says Grimdy. GG. <laughs> This is the quality gameplay that I expected. This is what we need. <sighs> Match fixing here by Grimdy. Hello, everyone. Wow, who of you put Lenny's on the line right here in favor of uh, of Thort? Did you pay off Grimdy? Is it where, is that what you're doing? Hmm, kind of sus. Not gonna lie. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Are we gonna? Pro <laughs> I think we're. That's, that's, there's a reason why people proxy over, it's okay, it's okay. Just cross your fingers and hope he didn't see it. That's a great strat. Just cross your fingers and hope for the, oh. I mean, at least they're holding each other's, uh, what do you call, call it? Hands? Wrench? Whatever those grabby things are. I think this is just the ultimate BM right here by Ace Gamer. I think he's just... Kind of putting two SCVs on idle, saying, you know what? I don't even need this money. Mandibles? Maybe that's what they are. Yeah, I think he just... I think he probably wanted to go for a proxy, and then he realized, well, I guess I got spotted by the Overlord. I'm not going to bother. And then these guys were fired. Yeah, it's a fake proxy. The thing is, Selderick didn't see that the SCVs are run by the Overlord. I'm fairly certain he hasn't noticed them. So, <laughs> there's some 
700 IQ plays going on right here by Ace Gamer. Oh! A factory? All right. So what? A uh, a factory? All right. So what are we doing here then? I'm very confused, guys. Fairly certain Ace Gamer also has no idea what's going on. He's got six on gas right here, ten on minerals. This SUV eventually goes back home. All right. Let's let's look at what Cell is doing. So Cell made a spine crawler. All right. Not entirely sure why we're making a spine crawler. Maybe he did see the SCVs. Yeah, maybe he did notice them. That would at least make sense. Oh my god, he's going double spine. Maybe this is his standard opener, though. I do know that in Gold League, people are incredibly cheesy. So the chances of you getting cheesed are more likely than not getting cheesed, if that makes any sense. Although, I would say if you want to play safe, Zorkling Speed is probably a useful ability. Anyways, it's going to be one Hellion here. And I guess, uh, a medevac. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the absolute worst cheeses I've ever seen. Why, what are we doing? Like, so I guess the idea is to like ferry the Hellions into the main base, which is fair enough. The thing is you could just drive them in there, man. Like I think the odds of your opponent having anything there is. Yeah, <laughs> it's not gonna do. Do that, do that much. Loco, are you going harder on us because we're supporters? Oh yeah, am I being a jerk? This is only the second best of three of the day though, and I'm already like... Ooh, the hero Zerkling over here. Dude, that one Zerkling saved the day. <laughs> I love this, this is great. We proxied these two structures and they now they're going home. Now they're going back home. There's gonna be a lot of choke points right here for those, uh, for those Zerklings. Yeah, Hydras aren't attacking units, guys. They're baby lurkers. Come on, how many times do I have to say this? Oh my... <laughs> Damn, that was a brutal bile. But yeah, the siege tanks don't need any any attention. They're just gonna gun everything. No, no. Don't attack with the baby lurkers. Baby lurkers aren't meant for attacking, okay? Alright. Get him, Brute Lurts! He's even sieging up the tanks for you, bro! Say thank you and just kill everything. Oh, siege tank. Bum, bum. Siege tank killing the marines. Siege tanks have no chill. Oh, 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 oh god. <laughs> Celeric is doing a good job, actually, man. He tried ending the game earlier, but Ace decided to turtle up. I mean, he um, is playing very safely, right? Doesn't really want to take any risks. But I know Selderick specifically started practicing StarCraft 2 again when he found out about this tournament. Go, 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 go! Yeah, that's it! Okay, we do have to be a little careful, I guess, that we don't stack up all of the Brute Lords, but... Siege tanks are now gonna start... Oh, being picked off. Gotta split up right here as well on the Hydra Clump. Brute Lords working on the rest of the units. There is a Planetary in the Natural, which is a little bit annoying. But I think, yeah, that is an easy cleanup right here by Selderick. Well played. <laughs> Ace going for the repair on the planetary. Man, Ace versus Love Song could take forever. Ace is like a more passive taco emissary. It's a very dangerous game. Both players would just sit there until they have 20,000 resources in the bank. Eventually, though, GG is cold. Selderick wins game number one. Nice. Ah, the baby lurkers going up together with the lurk. Nice. Ah, the baby. Ah. Nice. Ah, the baby lurkers going up together with the lurkers. You would imagine that the lurkers would do a better job right over there, but Blue Arc Critic just plowing through everything.
But I think that uh, Blue Heart Critic is just... Yeah, walking through a, a sea of lurker spines over here, and he may have accidentally just obtained a victory here. Nicely done. We haven't seen any micro on any of the sentries yet, but it's okay. Guns inefficient. You don't need them. I'm having flashbacks. Alright. He's having flashbacks of air. Okay. Oh, Aaron did this in game number one. <laughs> All right, there's a, a cloud of overlords. What do you call this? What do you call a group of overlords? A murder of overlords? A swarm of overlords. That's it. There's a swarm of overlords. No, a murder, a gag, a gaggle of overlords. Anyways, yeah, it's like, uh, what do you call that, that shooting, the clay pigeon shooting thing? A flock, a flock of overlords. Ooh, that's pretty good. A senate, <laughs> a senate of overlords. What animal uses senate again to describe a group? Oh my god, lurkers, 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 observer. Ay, 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 ay. How many overlords did Echo Soldier have, by the way, man? Owls? Oh yeah, it's an. I think it's a Senate of Owls. Singular G. He lost 14 overlords, and he still had plenty to spare. <laughs> Goes in favor of. Look at that hyperactive Nexus skin. This is the classic Nexus skin. I actually really like it. Although it seems to me it should be like four times as big as it actually is. The original Nexi really looked a lot more like temples. Anyways, what are you saying? No rush? We could try, why not? <laughs> I don't trust Aaron, dude. Let's go, classic StarCraft. What does that mean? Viewers enjoy the rest? Oh no. Well guys, this is gonna be our next hour. Yeah, I hope you're ready. 10 minute no rush. I mean, to be fair, that's how Zerk vs. Protoss was before the new patch anyways, right? No one really did anything for the first 10 minutes of a game in general. You know, they tried doing something, don't get me wrong. Alright, it is gonna be a Stargate. Decided to, even though he's got like, two pylons wrong. Alright, it is gonna be a Stargate. Decided to, even though he's got like, two pylons in the main base, he decides to plant it right underneath the Overlord. That way, if there was any thinking involved whatsoever, Thor doesn't even have to do about it. Yep, there you go, he knows. Is Stargate still standard? At this point, it's kind of undecided what the standard is. So, I've seen a huge variety of openers. So, we still see Stargate with, like, Void into third base. We see Stargate into, you know, uh, Oracle. For example, I've seen Oracle. I've seen Twilight Cow. A lot of potential there. I've seen Robo Facility openers, where you get a quick prism and follow it up with, like, Disruptor. The only thing I haven't really seen too much, which I'm with, uh, is Dark Templar openers. Dark Templar into Archon drops. I do think they're pretty good. I've seen Mass Phoenix plays a lot. Yeah. So there's there's a huge variety right now. Like since the patch is only a couple weeks old, there's a lot of different varieties that people are going for right now. Not sure what to go for, or it's because things are not as strong as. But there's not one go-to standard right now, which is so much nicer. Like it's so much better than what it was, man. I'm curious how Maxpex is gonna play without the Void Race. I saw a great Reddit post where he apparently was complaining. This in Twitch chat. So Max Pax posted this in Twitch chat. I haven't hated Protoss vs. Zork as much as right now. Zealot Archon Immortal is not my style. So Max Pax not having a good time. Self-proclaimed patch tools. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. So I've already seen some memes where people are saying, what was it? Max patch? Rather than Max Pax. Which I think is pretty funny. Uh, he probably just needs a little bit of time to... Uh, <laughs> Thor is like Mr. Nice Guy. Absolutely no way. You set 10 minutes, no rush, and you come in with the Phoenixes? I'll retaliate. Anyways, 
Phoenix is still doing a really nice, yeah, a really nice job here, though. Aaron with the disrespect. Playing all kinds of mental gymnastics right now to try and justify his... Yeah, 10 minutes, no rushes, bro code. Exactly. You don't break the boat. <laughs> Take your heart back. <laughs> he, he doesn't want the heart anymore. Thor tried covering it. He tried covering it right there with the overlords and the spore crawlers just so he doesn't have to see it anymore. The filth of that spray in his base. Look at that. Oh my god, that phoenix, man. Lifting sideways. What is this? Is this the gangster army of Protoss units? Didn't even look at the thing it was lifting. It was like, lifting like that. It was lifting it. That was beautiful. Couple of, uh, oh god. Okay, I thought we were going Spire for Corruptors. But instead we've gone Spire into units that counter mute us. Um, not ideal. Not ideal. I feel like this is a good moment to show you guys what Loran brought me. This is a huge throat waffle, okay? So like... This is a, a Dutch, what do you call this? Anyways, normally they're not this big. It smells really good. It's like two thin waffles with syrup in the middle. She gave me a very large throat waffle. It means something. I'm compensating with my large throat waffle for my tiny uh, ego. It's spring after all, loco. <laughs> what does that even mean? It is spring. Anyways, Clark. Rushing in right now with Zerkling. Hey, I didn't see the amount of links that the man had. He doesn't have a lot of supply anymore, but he does have an awful lot of links. Okay, that's a lot of zealots as well, though. Good effort right there by Mr. Thort. But I'm afraid that this is where his tournament... Actually, no, 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 no. Obviously, it's 1-0 right here for Thort. We're gonna go to game number three. Nice. Aaron, let's do 10 minutes, no rush. Phoenix is at 7 minutes. Oh, I'm gonna send this to them. They're probably not here right now. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, that... I don't think Aaron ever said that, but... <laughs> I think that's what me made of it. I'm fairly certain. Like, I was looking back at... Anyways, I agree, yes. Let's all just, you know, blame the man who won. won. Wow, hold it up. Anyways, I agree, yes. Let's all just, you know... Wow. <laughs> There's an epic battle happening here against the patrolled observer. <laughs> no, Thor, go back to playing the game. He's got to get it. He's got to get it. Come on, Thor. Don't stop. Oh, man. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 so close. It's a nice, yeah, it's like a nice little mini game within the game. <laughs> this is the most action we've had in this game for five minutes. All right, Aaron finally realized that something wasn't quite right. He decides to make it a stationary target. Good guy, Aaron. And eventually it does get killed. Okay, guys. I think Aaron is going to do the thing that he could have done. All right. That's a juicy storm, though. That's a very ju- Oh, that's the Protoss wet dream right there, man. That's what Protoss players dream about at night. About hitting a storm in the middle of an entire Zerk army. I never trust you again, GG. By the way, I'm fairly certain you guys came up with the idea of a 10 minute no rush. I'm fairly certain Aaron never agreed to that. Aaron, some excellent memes were made. I don't know if you've already seen this. Aaron, let's do a 10 minute no rush. Phoenix is at seven minutes. I made a, jerk, a joke earlier about it before the start. Oof, dude. Aaron absolutely brought it up. Are we go- No. <sighs> this is one of the oldest tricks in the book. Sal. Sal. Oh my god. Sal's actually playing this game with those blindners on. You know those things that horse. Sal's actually playing this game with those blindners on. You know those things that horses have sometimes? Just so he doesn't startle for anything. So he doesn't see- you know, he just doesn't- he doesn't have it. You guys call me low blind. I know that Selderick has called me low blind many times. <laughs> he spotted it. He spotted it. Alright, here we go. Zerklings have shown up for Mr. Uber Noob as well. Going for a dirty strategy. Not leaving this to chance once again. 
All right. Well, eventually, I guess the uh, Zorklings and the Spine are going to be taken care of. But Uber Noob is already drawing behind it. He's soon going to be at Tyrounds versus Fife. Now, I'm no mathematician, but I'm pretty sure that's decently good for <laughs> three of them are all gas. <laughs> three of them are all gas. It's <laughs> I can just hear Uber Noob's like laugh right now. Uber Noob's got a very loud laugh. I can I, I can almost hear him giggling behind his screen right now. Still winning, dude. Copium? Sutterig just mustered up enough minerals to make one more drone. <laughs> Uber Noob is giving a lot of respect to those five Zerk. He's giving a lot of respect to it. I don't think he needs to play this safe. Uber Noob is no noob. No, 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 no. He's just playing exceptionally safe, okay? This is like the triple condom approach. Probably a bad idea, but this is one way to make sure you don't die to anything silly. Wouldn't be surprised if he puts down four spore crawlers soon enough as well. <laughs> We're going lair? Uber Noob, stop playing with your food, dude. He's just... He's just playing super safe. My mom told me I couldn't play with my food when I was a kid. Like StarCraft that I've clearly... I think he wants to go mute us. Yeah. I think he wants to go mute us. <laughs> Brute Lord Pushko. Sadarik probably thinking right now as well. Like, oh my god, I can actually do this. Yeah, mute us is probably the safest. <laughs> Sell three minutes into the game. Is this a GG? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is, Cell. So. Fairly certain it is. Luckily, Uber Noob here, playing with his food. All around me are familiar faces. Worn out, play. Worn out. <laughs> Sutterick still wasn't sure. Sutterick was also proper hopium right there. He was really thinking he had a shot to get back into that game, but... Wow. Uber Noob just punching him, man. Like, Selderick had just climbed back to his feet, right? The referee had just counted to 140. <laughs> Finally, Selderick came back up. And then he just, yeah, he just punched him straight in the face. Kind of mean by Uber Noob, but hey. A win is a win. Still counts. <laughs> Stop it, he has a family. <laughs> hey, well played though, Uber Noob. That was a good game. That was really fun. <laughs> I don't know if you were here, Sel. <laughs> <laughs> Sell three minutes into the game is, <laughs> is this GG? That's so funny. You had to ask. Yeah. No, it was GG. But Uber Noob was like, no, I'm gonna play super. I'm not gonna. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, nice. Picking up the weakened units. Don't lose the prism. Oh. <laughs> Battery overcharge. Battery overcharge. Apparently, that's in range? Really? All right. I wouldn't have thought that that was going to be in range, but, um... Now, if this was Uber Noob right now, Yorona would be going back and making four Stargates. <laughs> Taking up the carriers. <laughs> Playing just as safe as... Like, recall all the units. Go for carriers. No, I'm fairly certain this is GG. The one HP prism. Thing is, right, there's a lot more on the... And even though I think Velarnin could probably stabilize for now... God, that skin is so wonky, man. I like it, don't get me wrong. Um, it feels so derpy, but um, it feels so derpy. I don't really see this skin very often. It's kind of cool, right? I don't know what it's called. I don't know what's with the leg animation. Yeah, it, yeah, exactly. It walks like it has a pylon up its ass. Uh, I, I mean, uh... Jeez. I make one inappropriate joke. Really, Chet? Re really? I mean, I don't even mean to say Chet. I mean to say, really, Echo Soldier? Really, Wolfie? New subscriber Yorano wins game number one. Spray the streamer? No, 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 no. Look up Meerkats 2. Don't look at me. Wow, dude. Are you, are, are you saying right now he did it too, so therefore it's okay? Because that's what I'm hearing. What is this? Elementary school? <laughs> Wow, dude. Donation confirmed. Wow, oh, dude. Wow, dude. 
Wow, dude. Donation confirmed. I'm not asking you for a large financial contribution, but a sub is five dollars at maximum in whatever your currency is. What's it's up, maybe ten dollars, and it doesn't matter how broke you are if you <laughs> have time to watch Twitch. You. <laughs> I'm not asking you for a large financial contribution, but a sub is $5 at maximum in whatever your currency is, What's it's up, maybe $10. And it doesn't matter how broke you are, if you have time to watch Twitch, you have ten dollars. <laughs> I hate that Kobe face that so much. Oh no, that's so bad, son John. That is one of the absolute worst Twitch memes ever, man. That is so bad. Do we want to watch that video? The clip kind of hurts me. Donation confirmed. I don't know, man. Oh god, the peer pressure. I don't think we want to. Yo, thank you, Mr. Ozzy. Thank you, Son John. Thank you, Killman, as well, actually. Oh god, okay, guys. That's it. If you, um, if you, okay. This, this is, put on your hazmat suits, wear your face masks. This is some of the most painful content. I know most of you have already seen this what, at least once, but like, this is physically cringeworthy, okay? Matter how much money you. It doesn't really matter how much money you make or how much money you have. That's really the thing. Because I'm not asking you for a large financial contribution. If it costs $20 to sub, $20 is quite a bit of money. $20 is you can get a full meal for $20. And the difference of $20 and eating a meal is in that $20. Like that's where it is. But a sub is $5 at maximum in whatever your currency is, it's maybe $10. And it doesn't matter how broke you are, if you have time to watch Twitch, you have you have $10, truly. If you don't have $10, you probably don't have time to watch Twitch because you should be working, you should be trying to earn money. Uh, it's I hate this so much. A ton of money. So being like, I'm broke, I can't afford to sub, it, that doesn't really track. What you mean to say is, I'm so irresponsible with my money, I can't support the entertainment that I enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, alright That's an excellent way to fill some downtime, guys We're just waiting for the next game to come up I find myself getting very triggered whenever I see that clip, yeah I find myself just uh, It's internet history, though, guys We need to remember it New subscriber detected Oh, shit, that's really loud Guys, we need to remember it New subscriber detected Oh, shit, that's really loud Loco, that video helped me to give you my last five dollars, Satch. Thank you, Nova. Please don't do that, though. That makes me feel uncomfortable. Donation confirmed. This is a way better channel to give money to. <coughs> Thanks for a glorious tournament so far, and to all the participants, slow heart. Yo, thank you, Sel. Thank you for playing. Pokelex versus uh, Uber Noob Donation has to be played accepted. next, I think. So uh, Uber Noob did win against Aaron. Logo, I have an emergency. Emergency. Emergency these nuts. All right. All right. All right. Guys, I think the quality of the text to speech is going down, okay? Like, I like Seldorick's heartfelt message. That was. Donation accepted. Five dollars is a doner kebab, though, so isn't that a full meal? It's a good point. Doner kebab. I haven't had a kebab since last Home Story Cup, guys. It's been a while. Loco, I'm so drunk, I'm about to fall asleep. Oh no, Shren! Guys, we need Shren, a new opponent. We need to find Shren, the opponent that he, uh, he's trying to fall asleep.
<laughs> Why are half of the participants in today's tournament drinking? <laughs> Why are half of the participants in today's tournament drinking, chat? What's going on right now? Is this what StarCraft brings out, you know, out of people? Everyone just needs to start, like, in order to cope with it? It's the Saturday life? The anxiety is too much? Yeah, sorry for giving you guys additional pressure. Loco, I mostly watch the stream during work. Does that mean I'm a professional viewer? Ooh, that's a good point. Mission accepted. I would give you $10, but I just bought a new kitchen for a lot of money and can't spare the money right now. <laughs> Alrighty guys, here we go. Our next best of three series. Game number one is on 2000 atmospheres. Laying in the bottom left -hand corner we have Pokalex. Donation accepted. Heard you are going to Greece. You should consider going to Tugma. Tugma balls Lamau. <laughs> and in the top right hand corner with the blue Zerg drones, we have Uber Noob. Yeah, Brian doesn't say LMAO. He says LMAO. Yes, he says LMAO. And I think that's beautiful. All right, guys, let's see. Um, I think both of these guys are right around the same MMR. Hey, chat. you. I lost because you didn't spam Kappa Ross to support Tossy. <laughs> what is this? Okay, I'm gonna skip it, but thank you. That was basically just more of whatever that sound was. Thank you, Aaron, for the support. It's five o'clock somewhere. That's true. Donation. That is correct. If you ever go to America, I recommend going to the Yukon. Yukon choke on these balls. <laughs> what is this stupid copy paste? I really don't. <laughs> Anyways. Donation confirmed. Little bit of a cheeky opener Have from Poke or from Uber Noob. In D in nuts. <laughs> you would imagine that at some point when people run out of copy paste does, right? But I've been streaming for forever. And I have I've seen so many unique copy paste does. It's uh Loco, those were all me. Really, Echo Soldier? I had no idea, man. So you're saying it wasn't someone called Grease Tips and the best? No Donation one's really significantly accepted. ahead. Europe was founded in 1848 by Walker, Texas Ranger when he rode a horse across the Atlantic. He called it Eastern USA, which was eventually abbreviated as just EU. <laughs> Eastern USA? Or Eastern USA was abbreviated to EU? Alright then. Thanks to the Texas Ranger. I've <laughs> I have never heard that one before. You'd imagine that at some I have never heard- I have never heard that one before. You'd imagine that at some point I come across most of the copy pastas, yeah. I think those are facts. This is one of the trickier things to play against, right? So how many drones do you make right now if you are Pokelex? Do you expect this to be a two basil in? What do you- what do you think? Low jam, we low jam, low low jam, we low jam, jam, low jam, we low jam, want low jam, get low jam, band low jam, l l l l l l l the mods. <laughs> yeah, yeah, quality. That's the kind of quality we need. We low gem. We won't get Ben. All right. Text to speech is perfect. I was thinking when I started today's stream whether or not I should mute text to stream. Uh, but then I didn't because I forgot. And now I guess I'm keeping it. You yeah, know, I'm just, yeah, we're just leaving it on. Yeah. Donation accepted. Yeah. Loco, you seem to be in great shape. You must like fitness. Fitness balls in your mouth, Lamar. <laughs> Dude, that wasn't even good. That was that was absolutely that was not even no. No, no. That one's not Keg W. That one's not even L U L. No, dude. That was horrible, chat. <laughs> I did laugh though. That's a good point. Donation confirmed. <sighs> A pirate walks into a bar with a steering wheel in his pants. The bartender says, what's with the wheel? The pirate replies, ah, it's driving me nuts. 
Oh, okay. That one was kind of okay. That was okay. That was not too bad. That could have gone. That could have gone worse. That that could have gone worse. Uber noob walks into the concave though. Not ideal. Man, we need to give uh, Uber noob uh, a lesson on geometrical shapes. Donation accepted. I love when I go to the Himalayas and see an alpaca. Okay. <laughs> Dark Loco? Wait, what? I love when I go to the Himalayas and see... I love when I go to the Himalayas and see an alpaca. <laughs> Alright. I love alpacas too, dude. <laughs> alpacas are the best. I... <laughs> alpaca these nuts. Oh, is it... Alpaca these nuts. Oh, is it? Okay, there you go. Did anyone ask if Loco likes Imagine Dragons yet? Imagine Dragon these. Yeah, is am I getting the hang of this? I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. Am I not? Imagine Dragon these nuts. Yeah, okay, right, okay. I think that's the OG, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's the like whenever you're in a weird spot, your gut instinct is to go Hydras. Hydras suck. Feel weird. In 2022, I still listen to music on tapes and CDs. <laughs> Tape this joyful to your face and CDs nuts <laughs> them out. What the f**k, man? Brian replaced the bad words in that sentence with happy words. Yeah, Brian has an automated censorship built in. The mutas here are starting to do some work, though. 12 drones no, have gone down. Accepted. I think that was right over here up north. Do you like Imagine Dragons? Because their single enemy from Arcane is an actual banger. Also, imagine me dragging my balls across your face. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Jesus Christ. Bro, this is so low effort. It's becoming less. Like, is it funnier to be low effort? We're getting there, right? Like, the quality is going down. It's the delay, right? Yeah. A lot of overlords sprinkled around the main base in particular. And now Pokelex has been reduced to two bases. So even though Uber Noob lost one of his own bases here on the right side of the map, and he lost like a ton of drones up north, it's good. What's the best time to put down an expo? Because I'd like to expose these balls in your face. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's so bad! Donation accepted. Hello, Loco. My name is Candice. I really enjoy your content from Japan. Hello, Loco. My name is Candice. I really enjoy your content from Japan. Also, Candice, stick fit in your mouth, Lamau. <laughs> what? No, man. I already heard the Candice, okay? We don't need more. This game has been a, a flip-flop. Can you guess who I saw hanging around together at Katowice? D's nuts. Speaking of flip-flop, thank you, Ms. Rossi. So now he decides to go for a full-on counter-attack. I guess it makes some sense. Zerkling's going to the base at the bottom. Based on your music choices, I really think you like the indie band Harbor. Have a taste of these nuts, <laughs> Jesus. <from> <laughs> okay, then. The Roach Ravager army, though. Roach Hydra army, rather, here from Pokelex, eventually pushes Donation through.
говорю. Guys, let's stop being horny. Let's go back to the OG spam. Pogo, 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 pogo. All right, and with that, it is Pokelex who ends up Donation winning the game. But that was pretty sick. Yeah, this is rough. Look, Army Graph right here for Uber Noob. New. Way down. That was unfortunate. That was a very nice game. He was ahead of these nuts. Okay. <laughs> All right, you tried, Butlesses. You tried. You did it right, bro. I'm proud of you. This was apparently just announced. After an impressive five-year run with the orc, Donation today we announced the departure of Euthermal. I know you don't like anime too much, like Weeb the Hunter, but did you like Dragon Ball? Ball. Dragon balls across your face, Lamau. Uh, okay, then. Dragon ball. Dragon balls across your face, Lamau. <laughs> okay, then. All right, then. Okay, he changed his uh, his tag. He had liquid thermia, I guess, and he decided to change it into his account. Okay. These donos are so bad. Why don't you all grow up and play a real game? In Raid, Shadow Legends, you can team up with players around the world. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bro, you have no idea how much money I could have made if I took those... I... I... Donation accepted. Donation accepted. Mario put his face against Bowser's big <laughs> soaking wet. No, 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 no. <laughs> anyway, it was PG. Oh, his big soaking wet castle. <laughs> no, it was not PG, bro. I mean, it's technically PG, but it really wasn't. <laughs> it really wasn't. Do you think I'm going to be able to cast this game? Because this is actually a good series so far. Is this what it feels like to be Artosis? Donation accepted. Is this what it feels like? Peach bent over and showed Mario. No, no, no. <laughs> no more Mario or Erotica, Twitch chat. No more Mario or Erotica. I don't know what that is. Like, why is that a thing? I don't understand. How did Mario or Erotica become a thing on Twitch? That one was by no means even remotely PG. <laughs> Donation confirmed. I have gotten the confirmed. I have gotten the COVID van about I have gotten the COVID vaccine about twenty times now. For Pfizer, twelve Moderna, four Johnson. Once I got my first vaccine, I started cravings for it. There is something so great knowing I am reducing the spread of the coronavirus what? with each what of them. How is that a thing? <laughs> Why did someone make that copy paste that? All right. Well, hey, good for you, Jones. Good for you. Donation confirmed. I love you, Loco and Chat. Loads. Got on Spatula. Thank you, man. 300 bits. Honestly, all of these bits and, and donations and stuff, they have added up, guys. I don't know, man. I had a look at the donations at this, of the stream like three days ago when you guys were also having fun with the Texas Siege Bolt that I think it added up to like 250 bucks. I was like, oh. <laughs> Cyril slowly inserted his queen into his wall off. <laughs> Cyril slowly inserted his queen into his wall off. The queen lets out the softest, sweetest moan. <laughs> no, bro. <laughs> no. <laughs> that is not a wholesome story. <laughs> that is, there was nothing wholesome about that story. There was nothing there. I read the next, or I read the next part, decided to skip it. I'm like a budget artosis now. This goes on with artosis' stream literally the entire time, right? 
I'm fairly certain this happens literally the entire stream long of Artosis' channel, right? Pretty much. The whole time. My man Artosis. Making a thousand bucks. Making a thousand bucks a stream. <laughs> literally. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Oh, right, right, right. There's a game going on. There's a game go right, there's a game going on. Pokelix sent the thing across the map, scouted the very fast Roach Warren, despite the fact that he also scouted the third. Uber Noob trying to outsmart the event for clear for Pokelix. He's Pokelix? I mean, there's. Whoa. All right. Uber Noob really had some sort of. He really did not like that queen. Whoa, whoa, bro. Anyways, Slash. Uber Noob, even though he, he really needed to kill Brenda first, which I don't know was necessarily the best. All right. He does obtain the victory here. Max Pax could feel the sweat dripping down his brow. My pylon is being harassed, he said to himself as the banshee shot at it. By why not? Have you seen her knockers, he thinks Whoa. to himself. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Max Patch? No, 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 no. Donation accepted. <sighs> this isn't even a meme. Protoss. Widow Mines. Dark Templars. Battle Cruisers. Mario Peach in his big. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Peach in his big. <laughs> whoa, whoa! Mario Peach in his big. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Mario Peach in his big. Whoa, 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 whoa! Peach. Rio f peach in his big. Whoa, 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 whoa! What the f was that, bro? What did that just happen there at the end? Donation accepted. Carrigan hit a button on her data pad, moving to the doorway behind Reyna. He felt the air display. I, I don't even. There's something going there. I don't want to finish it. I. There's gotta be. New uh, detected. Five months of fun, two years of YouTube, and back to StarCraft fun. Glad to be here, Loco. Uh, Thanks for the thank fun. you, Uncensored Threk. Donation confirmed. Confirmed. A chew, double exclamation mark. What was that? Exclamation question mark. Exclamation question. Mark. What was that? Exclamation question mark. Exclamation question mark. Oh, looks like you just. <sighs> <sighs> Thank you guys for all the donations, though. That was very generous. All right, let's see. Pokelex. How well is he going to be able to defend this? The hell is going on with Twitch chat today? Uh, it's just springtime is in the air, dude. It's, it's just springtime. And, uh, you know, my cats are also very hyperactive this time of the year. Um, and, and, you know, and, and, you know, a year, and, and you know, it, it just happens. Birds are starting to make nests. Twitch chat's starting up the text-to-speech. Donation confirmed. Dance all day lotosis. Why did he just, you didn't even typo that? So people, people have figured out how to make Brian say bad words despite the language filter. Neverending Mesa literally just said f and Brian, okay, Brian has given up, man. Brian, Brian doesn't care anymore. What? More? What? No, no, no. That was so messed up. That was way too far. Donation. <sighs> This stream is pretty awesome and the gameplay is pretty nice as well. Pogo 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 pogo. Thanks. Donation accepted. Hey Loco, have you heard of the new Hey Loco, have you heard of the new Sea of Thieves DLC? 
let's see if these nuts can fit in your mouth. Bro, those are so bad. These are not even like, there's not even any effort anymore. New subscriber detected. Low Oko 3. Oh. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Gotta love these wholesome messages. It is okay. The floodgates, uh... We're open for a little bit, but it looks like both players are eventually getting three bays up. Alright. If you were Artosis, you would let this play. 77 septillion, 777 sextillion, 777 77 sextillion, 777 sextillion, 7 sextillion, 7 Seven seventy seven sextillion seven hundred septillion seven hundred and seventy seven sextillion seven hundred and seventy seven quintillion seven hundred and seventy seven quadrillion seven hundred and seventy seven trillion seven hundred and seventy seven billion seven hundred he was gonna finish the entire number for what it's worth who is this Ernie and Ock? Who is this Ernie and Ock? Ock, 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 Ock. No, no, no. No, bro. No. Oh, thank you, Ballistical, for, <laughs> for 300 bits. Donation accepted. The sound of nature is just every living being in your area desperately trying to get laid. Try thinking about that. All right, guys. I think I'm going to mute text to speech after this series, though. Because we're coming up on the last games of the tournament. Accepted. Zerg. It's a broken race. They have stupid f mechanics that are broken and it just makes the game not fun. It feels like whenever I play Zerg, I get f kitten by Bowser's fat f <laughs> Whenever I play Zerg, I get f kitten by Bowser's fat f <laughs> No, bro! What does Bowser... Why does the Mario stuff come from? Like, I don't understand the Mario sh How is that a new development in text-to-speech land? The Mario erotica, I really... Uh, like... Oof. Oh my god. A lot of br drones over here at like one health though. Hero Zerkling's trying to kill them all. Is there enough for Uber Noob to win? Oh, he's trying really hard. He's getting a lot more roaches on the back of this, but he didn't actually go for like a complete all-in. I think if he went for the all-in variant of this build, he'd be fine. Oh my god, that was so dicey. That was so close. Dex's speech is out of control today. Woo! Alright. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plague is the Wise? I thought not. It's not a story the Jedi would tell you. It's a Sith legend. I may have heard of it. Donation confirmed. Lotosis, please focus on the gameplay. Does Artosis let all of the text to speech finish? Like, because, you know, I still counsel them and I see some that would, like, you know, probably a little. But I can't imagine people push it way further. He stops the Mario Erotica. Jeez. I wonder why, guys. <laughs> why is this a category of text to speech donation? Why is this a category? How has it become a category? Honestly, someone can do their PhD thesis on like text-to-speech notification messages. Donation There's something there, man. On yes, keep going. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uber Noob trying to push at the front at the same time. Uh, Uber Noob trying to push at the front at the same time while also hitting the main base. He's trying to set up a concave right here on top of the ramp. 
do realize that Uber Noob and Pokelex are on VOD, right? Playing the six series and they're gonna watch back the, the VOD, right? My girlfriend to get better soon, card. She is. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what the f was that? <laughs> God. Okay. Uber noob. Everywhere at once. Pokelex, though, still holding on. And despite the fact that 15 drones were just killed, they're still even. Look at the supply count. Lurkers? 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 We're not fighting right now. Doesn't care, though. Uber has got such a large army. Night is warmer. Trying to be annoying. This is how Patreon chat evolves over time. We are Digins and it is fun. Pledge $5 a month and join the Loco Patreon Club. Bows no. <laughs> Bows no. <laughs> Bro, for once it was a wholesome message. What the f <laughs> Why? I didn't look at it anymore, man. Corrosive bottles obviously are still good against lurkers as well. Uber Noob now getting a little bit too greedy, maybe. Yeah, I need to be careful. He doesn't overextend. He lost the game that he had won earlier today already as well, and I think it's... I don't think he can fight here. He's got a lot more units coming up. The advantage is actually now in for Uber Noob. Okay, he's decided to reinforce the level. Okay. Oh my god. He wants to win right here, right now. There's so much Pokelex is starting to throw out his Roach line. Bro, this is actually such a sick game. Ah, uh, shame I didn't get to cast this one properly. Yeah, by far the best tournament series so far. The army here for uh, for Pokelex is very bruised, but still alive. A lot of roaches here being bled out as well by Uber Noob. No! I've seen this before. Gold base acquired here by Uber. Pokelex taking the two bases down at the bottom. Once again. Oh, bro. He's going ultras. He's thinking about going ultras anyways. Sick game here by Pokelex, man. The fact that sub Pokelex actually managed to hold down there. Oh, hold on there is insane. You gotta work on his basketball skills. He tried to kill the, the drones right there on the on the move then. But that was sick. Well done. Oh, GG is cold. And with that, thanks again for hosting this, Loco. Hey, no worries, Uber Noob. Uber Noob is gonna watch back the VODs, guys. He's gonna watch back the VODs and um, he's find he's gonna find this. Yeah, he's he's gonna find Donation this abomination. Accepted. Finally, some peace and quiet. No, I think Poke or uh, Uber Noob will probably appreciate it. Yeah. <clears throat> Sick games, man. Well played right there, Mr. Pokelix. That was very impressive stuff. Pokelix is honestly very hard. Yo, Uber Noob, if you're watching back the VOD, right? You shoot. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just warning you that we probably don't talk about the games as much as you would have liked. <laughs> what did you miss? Uh, a lot of Mario Erotica text-to-speech messages. Donation confirmed. I did you hear about there being only eight planets? No. Did you hear about there being only eight planets? No, 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 bro. Okay, I'm turning text-to-speech notifications. On. Ah, peace and quiet, chat. I have muted Brian. It is what it is. <laughs> Thanks for the support, though. <laughs> but the best, best of three for today <laughs> is... Uh, we need a little bit of censorship. I mean, it's not censorship. It's been going... <laughs> it's been going on for a while. Yeah. Yeah.
Ja. The grid is my my brush. The, the grid is my my brush. The sorters are my my paint. I've got some titanium white on the canvas already. I mean some liquid white. Just upgrade the whole planet. Yeah. No no no. Resources are not unlimited. Although in the settings I did turn it on to plus three, default. So in my original playthrough last year, I decided to go with default settings. But then you kind of run out of stuff and it can be a little bit tiresome, so I decided to just put like a lot of sh You can put it to infinite as well, but that also seems a bit lame. I'm playing easy mode again. Excuse me, Rex, you play Protos. Your argument is invalid. But yes, I am. <laughs> Look, how dare you? How dare you? <laughs> Alright, sorry. Sorry, Greta. I got wrecked. Every time I see anyone ride, how dare you? It's the first thing that goes to my mind. Is that a bad thing? I haven't heard of Greta in a while. I wonder what hurts more, that burn or the Will Smith slap? I mean, it didn't look like it hurt that much. But it was a good slap. As far as slaps go, like, I mean, I've seen worse slaps. It was Donation a pretty good slap. Confirmed. <laughs> Sorry, I like being first. Thank you, dude. <laughs> 8 out of 10 would assault on live television again. Yikes. But also, mm, yeah, it was, a, it was a good slap. I still feel like I probably was staged. I don't know. You guys know why he kept an open hand? Because paper beats rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably staged. Probably staged. Maybe, I don't know. Donation confirmed. To whoever stole my copy of Microsoft Office, I will find you. You have my word. Bro. <laughs> That's so bad. Donation accepted. It's brown and sticky stick. Okay, and sticky. A stick. Okay, now we have to end the stream. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, that was... I think, I think we should probably end the stream, dude. Just... You know, it's better for everyone. It's just smarter. We don't have to suffer anymore, chat. I actually thought it was pretty good. Don't tell anyone, though. Okay. Okay, then. Only wood. Okay, then. It's a family-friendly show, but fair enough. Obligatory nice.
Where are we going? Why did he teleport over there? Huh? Wait, did he cancel it? What just happened there? Huh? Did he teleport in in Did he teleport in the same location that he was already in? He was aiming towards the top left, but I'm fairly certain the battle cruiser tele like you can't cancel with tactical jump, can you? So he aimed towards the top right, and I thought that's where he was going. So he <laughs> he teleported over there. I was so confused. I was like, okay, where is he going? Like somewhere over here, right? I was ready to intercept him, and I realized, wait a second, what the? F that was weird. A flanking battle cruiser. This was StarCraft's fault, though. Yeah. You play like a bronze You play like a bronze You play like a bronze <sighs> He's not happy, guys. He's not having a good time. I kind of want to see his opener. So normally, with a standard two bay, uh, with a standard two bays opener, you can get a, uh, a battle cruiser ride by like 520 or so if you do it like you know with a, a relatively normal one. You play like a bronze <sighs> He's not happy guys He's not having a good time. I kind of want to see his opener So normally with a standard two bay uh, with a standard two bays opener you can get a, uh, a Battle cruiser ride by like 520 or so if you do it like you know with a, a relatively normal one This one was out before that point. I think his battle cruiser was out by like half a minute. Or, you know, like half a minute sooner. But he didn't have a natural expo, so it was like a one base battle cruiser opener. Yeah. A one base battle cruiser opener. So he started off with a smiley face, by the way, when he saw this. So he was in a good mood at this point. Oh my god, he goes factory before orbital. Yeah, that's weird, eh? This is a bit strange. Uh, he was still saying some things. He said something about damp spore crawlers. Kinda hot, to be honest. Low hot? That moment when the spore crawler is damp. <laughs> Hate it when that happens, dude. Bro, this guy is being annoying as hell. I got double spores and I still take way too much damage. Honestly, really bad. Are there any siege tanks? He's not making any. Okay. Time to go, boys! Could have just link flooded and won. Yeah, hard to say though. Cause like the benchies, like if there's three benchies, they will kill a lot of zerklings. But maybe I could have link flooded. Yeah. Contaminate is factory loco. Contaminate what now? That's an ability I can use. Yeah, you're right. I should have done that. Detected. 
Hi Loco, had too, too much sanity so you went back to StarCraft. Love the stream, happy April fools. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, Frankie Fox. Yeah, look, so basically, right, if, uh... We have, like, my mental health right over here, right? On this axis. And then time over here, right? Last week, like, I started playing ladder again a couple weeks ago. It was pretty fun. And then last week, I went down, like, 400 MMR, right? Last week was, f***ing, like, three, 400 MMR down the drain. I kind of went like that, right? And then this week, I decided to play a lot of Dyson Sphere program, and it's been a real blast. So I've been somewhere up here again, right? I took the Sunday off, and I've been feeling really good this week. So I figured, yeah, rather than coast with a really, you know, good positive outlook on life, let's play some more StarCraft II ladder instead. Does that make any sense? So, like, you know, we want to have a baseline of, like, you know, mental health right around here. <laughs> so I figured let's go back on the StarCraft II ladder. New subscriber detected. You guys have mental health. Glad you are better now. Good on the rinse. Thank you for the 33. What happens when I reach the bottom? Uh, when I reach about this part, I start snapping at people in the chat. Like, this is the... Let me draw it out. This is the danger zone right over here. Anytime I'm below the, the danger zone, I start, uh, yeah, getting snappy at people in the chat. This is where we were playing, uh, f Tunic last Saturday. And there were a bunch of guys in the chat being like... Uh, and, and that in combination with minus 300 MMR and, and you know, is too much. This is where the Twitch chat GM comments start bothering me. And anything above is fine. So most of the time I'm coasting around this this part, right? But uh yeah, sometimes you play too much ladder. <laughs> Artosis level rage. Now I think that's probably that's probably somewhere over here. That's a little bit further down. That's not on the X's. Nice graph loco, very de detailed. No worries. With Brute Lord you would have won. Yes! <laughs> ah! Guy in the chat sees me dying to an immortal centriol in. What if you would have <laughs> had Vert Lord? Just like, yes, guy in the chat. Thank you for <laughs> Thank you for the suggestion. Dude, I saw this one earlier today. Look at this. So, my wife is an excellent cake baker, and she did an amazing cake for a friend who's a StarCraft streamer. Bro, that is so nice. Look at the detail on that hatchery. Actually amazing. He didn't want to eat it and ruin the art. Finally, he did, but almost in tears. My perfectly balanced wine collection. Yeah, I know there's a wine brand called literally Protoss. Protoss. <laughs> Terran Prestige? Okay, this this one I guess is custom made, huh? <laughs> yeah, this goes excellent with some cheese. Really good. A Spanish red wine. Look how my wife left me, StarCraft time. <laughs> Wait, are <laughs> you? Oh, she left you for two days for a bachelorette party. Okay. I was gonna say... <laughs> uh, I just... The only message I saw in the chat was, My wife left me StarCraft time. <laughs> and then there's a follow-up message where, yeah, it's only two days. Alright, fair enough. Technically still the truth. Slash r slash hold up. Yeah. I wish I had a wife to leave me. Interesting. I... <laughs> I saw a great slash r slash hold up yesterday. There you go. Your uncle died. We are planning on cremating. Your uncle Mark died. We are planning on cremating him. Fire emoji, fire emoji, skull emoji. Dad, that's not how we use emojis. 
The best part is I can 100% imagine my dad accidentally doing this. Because <laughs> as soon as you like write a word. Or you're trying to like, you know, if you write word, the, the word fire or whatever, right? It will immediately give you the fire emoji alternative. <laughs> Anyways, it's pretty good. I don't know if you type cremation. No, I don't think it's going to give you a fire emoji. I'm not sure. Uncle Mark has two skulls. Look how your MMR is doing fine. Fire emoji, fire emoji, skull emoji. Toxic. Hello. I probably need another pile on me. <laughs> I forgot a pile. <laughs> no! Why would we sh I blame the small pee pee. I, I blame, I blame the small pee pee. What happened, Loco? Nothing. What happened? Nothing, guys. Don't worry about it, man. I may or may not have counseled my own nexus. <laughs> uh, not ideal. You actually go pylon already? No, 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 no. Actually, I should have delayed that pylon. Yeah, yeah. We go second gateway first and then a pylon. So he didn't scout last game. I probably also shouldn't have chrono. I think I'm f right? I don't think it's actually very good against Protoss at all. I don't think this is a great idea against Protoss. I'm fairly certain there's no way I win against this. I should have taken that gas faster, I guess, if I wanted to do this. Also, he can make shield batteries, right? Dude, that's not fair. I was supposed to be the one that could only make, make shield batteries. Yeah, there's really no way I win this. One that can only make shield batteries. I don't win this. I don't see how I could. Didn't I say? <laughs> yeah, I'm not very good at playing. It's okay though. We can make Protoss units, right? How hard can it really be? Mr. Zealot, could you maybe attack? Guys, this is not going so hot. I should have recalled the Stalkers instead. If I would have recalled the Stalkers, it would have been much. Yeah, I've lost too much. Why the f are you guys doing that? Okay. I'm gonna have to showcase you guys what professional micro looks like. <clears throat> this is gonna be easy, straightforward, to the point. What a mess. No, 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 we're winning this game, bro. What do you mean? I have eight probes in a dream. It's about as many workers as I started the game with. I see non-believers in the chat. I mean, not that I see how I can possibly win this, but... Ah, he has a Void Ray. Ah, GG. Guys, um, I shouldn't have let my second gas be stolen. I should have recalled those probes, or sorry, those stalkers instead. Yeah, Loco's Kryptonite. Void Rays are uh, quite powerful units. They're quite decent. I shoot off used corruptors. I shoot off done so indeed. We're looking for the grammar correct. I always kind of like it though, whenever I see people writing shoot off. What the f did you just link? Ha! No. No. Him loco. I agree. We should just ban one bat this just to make sure that we will never see that sort of abomination on stream ever again. There's children watching this stream, Bombatis. <laughs> A ham dog. <laughs> A ham dog. No, dude. I hate it. Please stop. Dutch is beautiful. What did you just link? Dutch is. What do you say? Pick my. Kiss my moist account? Kiss my moist account? What's funny about that? He said the thing? <laughs> what? That's not what it is, Chet! No! That's not. This is a perfectly innocent Dutch sandwich. Or sandwich. Sentence. Choose my. Moist is like most beautiful side. Such a nasty language. Alright. Today I learned. Today I learned. That's a. Uh... Alright. Alright. Gotcha. Think safe. It does sound a little different in English. Imagine not being American. Kick. W, bro. It would be embarrassing. Alright, chat. Americans, close your eyes. I have to uh, clear out my. Actually, hold up. Let me make it easier for you. Alright. 
Nothing happened. The oil is on the farm, okay? Like, it's, it was getting old. We should bring it to the farm. I need to make these, New right? Subscriber yeah. Detected. Colossal squid have rotating meat hooks the size of tiger talons instead of suction cups. What did you just say? <laughs> I understood those words, but... In that order? <laughs> Colossal squids have rotating meat hooks the size of tiger talons instead of suction cups. Well, today I learned. I don't actually think about Colossal squids very much. But I will let you know that Colossal Squid was my nickname. <laughs> no, no. That was not my nickname. No, never mind. No, Loco, Loco. Enough. Colossal Squid. Dude, aren't Colossal Squids the ones that, like, we know very little about? I don't think we know too much about those animals in general. No. Hey guys, that's super. Or USB A? Really? People are not going to be using that for auto work. I don't care about it would be pretty nice. Care to explain yourself, Loco? This is years ago, bro. That was a long time ago. This is just an, an average day in the life of Loco. This specific one, though, is uh, years ago. In before the Loran days? No, no. It's been a while, man. Coming up on like seven years. She's been uh, dealing with my bullshit for seven years. Imagine that. That's not as long as Dita Hunter, for what it's worth. Dita Hunter has been dealing with my bullshit for longer. He's got like a hundred months sub, something like that. Yeah, I keep asking Dita Hunter what it is. Are you ready, Chet? So he recommended Low Sick as a... I'm not exactly sure that was here. You know, that turned out pretty awesome. That is... She makes amazing emotes, man. She, she does a lot of cool stuff. Most of my emotes are made by her these days. Highly recommend. Underscore art anime on... Anyways, she originally made another version of this emote, and um, this one is just awfully unrealistic, Chess. This is the newer one. This one is the one with facial hair. I was like, <laughs> 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 no, no, I'm not gonna hear the end of it. <laughs> well, <laughs> too much. It's too much facial hair. That stubble is just awfully unrealistic. We can't have that. Especially the mustache area. I don't grow a mustache, bro. Anyway. Yeah, it's really nice. Always perfectly shaved? Sure. Let's say that's the case. Barometer is pretty phallic. Come on, man! Loco, I grow that in an hour after shaving. Strange flex, but oh. I blame Echo Soldier for starting the Mario Erotica, guys. I suggest we just preemptively ban Echo Soldier out of the chat. Not because he did something wrong today, but just, you know, to make sure that none of this can happen again in the future. A preemptive bonk. Donation confirmed. So Loco inserted his coal into my smelter, burning the hot flames of passion, reducing his iron rod into mold. No, 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 no smelter. <laughs> I'm just smelting some shit. I mean, that was a perfectly fine sentence. I don't even know why that's funny. That was a perfectly fine and normal sentence. Nothing to be ashamed of. Gotta say that Will Smith joke slapped hard. Hey, got him. Donation confirmed. There can be 100 people in a room and 99 of them won't slap you, but one will. Thank you, Bunny Warren. Well memed. Someone, this is a little. Someone sent this document at some point. Be obnoxious in a Twitch chat. I have not donated. Uh, so one thing Donation. we need to really do. Classic. Uh, so one thing to really do is this. This document is so square, 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 square. What have you started? Thank you, T for Samuel. I I was just maybe I shouldn't have. Donation. Donation confirmed. 
You better not think anything dirty chat, I'm just starting my lawnmower, otherwise I spray you like You better not think anything dirty chat, I'm just starting my lawnmower, otherwise I spray you like I'm glad that while we're lost in the middle of space, Ace Gamer is still providing some entertainment. T for Samuel as well, yeah. I just wanted to... It's actually kind of beautiful. Donation confirmed. Donation confirmed. All right, great, great, great stuff. Thanks. I think I Donation did. Donation confirmed. How do you spell logo? H L H O H W H K H O H logo. What? The Okay. Kate Lockwell sucks and Donnie from Million is the best character in the game. Ch change my mind. Good meme. Fear Dragon coaching the five shades of protos. The all-in clinic. <laughs> the cops don't want you to know this weird trick that ladder players use. Ay, 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 ay. Is this a real-life barcode? You can have a license plate like this and... No, I don't think we right. do... I don't know which one. Happy Saturday, it looks kind of fake. Hey, thank you, N slash up for the 29. Welcome back. I'm around gifting thirty. <laughs> I'm around gifted a sub to a guy. Hey, look at that, Amaranth, gifting thirty subs. Thank you very much. New subscriber detected. <laughs> is that for real? Very good taste. Yeah. No, apparently it is. Loco, I live in Virginia. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> this is so bad. This is so stupid. I think this is real, guys. Pretty sure, Arnold. Subscriber. Replace the mother shit. That would be awesome. First <laughs> Manx is the greatest emperor ever. It's so stupid. I got it working again, by the way, Tefuni. Uh, it's sticking. From what my dad understands, he had two white. Still have that working. Yeah, yeah. I think it's called a vest. So I think. Would there be something special with half a million subs? I'll do a face reveal. A face reveal is. There will be like age 60 are pretty high. Mature yet at hunt. That's a long time. He's just a thick boy sitting around. Everything he think about is food, especially Milo. After breakfast, he starts thinking about. I don't know. Do you think you know these four mirrors? It is I. Look at my. <laughs> a statue means Earth people. Is that what you said as well, Izo has? I didn't actually. It's like a lot of effort, man, being bald. It's like a lot of effort, man, being bald there. Every two weeks. Okay. 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 Okay.